And I am Brianna. We are. We are not dead. We are alive. It's amazing. Um, good. Tired. Um, unable to get people on the opposite side of doors before the live stream starts. We are. We are not dead. Uh, my we are alive. It's that, amazing because my glasses broke and I'm using really super old ones and that's not fun. Um, good. Tired. Other than that, that's um, unable to get on the opposite Works side sucks. of doors Can't before write. the live stream starts. How's your life, Peter? We are. We are not dead. Uh, my we are alive. It's that, amazing because my glasses broke and I'm using really super old ones and that's not fun. Um, good. Tired. Other than that, that's... Um, Unable and to I get that it. on the opposite Works side of doors can't before write. the live stream starts. How's your life, Peter? We are. We are not dead. <laughs> uh, my we hair are hurts. alive. It's uh, amazing because my glasses broke and I'm using really okay, super Okay, they are old saying ones, and that there's feedback. Uh, and they can barely good, hear you. Tired. Other than that, that's um, unable to get that on the opposite side of doors can't before write. the live stream starts. How's your life, Peter? <laughs> we are. We are not dead. Uh, my we hair are alive. It's that, amazing because my glasses broke and I'm using really okay, they... okay, Peter, it's through you. So weird. Can, can you hear me? I've got you muted at the moment because everything I was saying was feeding back through you. So I had to mute you long enough for it to stop. My, uh, my feet is frozen. Okay. Since no one else can hear you, I'm going to say Peter's screen is frozen, so we're not quite sure what's going on. Yeah, I, I wasn't it, doing anything. It should be stopping soon, guys. Please tell me it's stopping, because I shut his mic off. What kind, what kind of feedback are we talking about here? Uh, uh, echoes and loops. Okay, somebody reassure me that it has stopped. I feel like I took acid and met Charles Manson. Audio is just repeating and echoing, Joseph says. It's fine now. Time loop has ended. Okay, so cutting off Peter's mic cut the time loop. Okay, so Peter... <laughs> what are you doing? Um, he, well, he's muted at the moment. That's why he's very faint. You should not hear him at all. Um, yeah, my screen is still frozen. Okay. You know, it's like in Skype just updated right before I logged on, too. Shouldn't be Skype settings doing it. And I had it on mute. Hmm. Do you remember, though, it was doing that the last time? I'm having a one-sided conversation. No one can hear you because I'm afraid to turn your mic back on. <laughs> but they're listening to me talk to you. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on. Now they're saying that they can hear you, so... Okay, so I think I should be caught up now. We can try unlooping or, you know... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on. Now they're saying that they can... Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah hang on just a second. I changed something. Okay. I've gone crazy, but Kaz loves me. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Peter, get in the DeLorean. Yeah, hang on just a second. I changed something. I should not okay. be hearing. All right. We're going to try this again. Everybody ready? Okay. Peter, say something. Something. 
Okay, and that was just you, not you and me. All right. Weird. I I did not hear anything at all. Uh, there was a there was something something went weird in Streamlabs, and I don't know what it was. But here we are. So now we put you back on the screen. Why aren't you on the screen? I don't know, but has it since since we've started using Streamlabs? Is that when we started like actually having problems? Uh, no, no. This was a, a setting something had updated, but we got it. Okay, we're good. I don't. I don't have a a, a picture. <laughs> yeah, it's you're, fine. You're back. Whatever. You're back. You're back. Like I said, That's... we've still got what was supposed to be super low latency, which was supposed to be three or four seconds back, is still twenty seconds back. It's awful. It's horrible. It's Friday. I'd much rather be drunk. How are you? Uh, I, I'm <laughs> I'm doing well. Okay, so I won't talk about the upcoming vote and, and work because apparently that's what set me off. Um, but we're good, aside we're from good, that, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. up, update on me. Um, I took a little break from, from the fandom a little bit. And what I mean by that, because I know some of you guys have been seeing me on uh, social media. You know, I'm, I'm not absent from that. But I actually haven't watched anything Cobra Kai or Karate Kid related in at least – Probably a couple of weeks. I, I've been um, watching Shit's Creek, and I finished it, and I joined a group, <laughs> and uh, I, I've been kind of lurking in there and posting some things, and you know, listening to a Shit's Creek podcast. Um, that's that's pretty much it. But you know, we are here uh, to go over John Hurwitz's last Q and A. I, I believe there was another one before that. That's Probably, um, I, I, I'd imagine a lot of the similar questions were probably asked this last time around as well. So we're not going to go too far back. We're just going to do the last one. But on the topic of news and updates, um, for those that don't know and you know don't um, follow me on my personal Facebook account, uh, my wife and I were expecting the second week of November. So. Uh, towards the end of next week, I will be taking uh, five weeks off. Um, and again, for those that don't know, I've been distancing from my family uh, since April 3rd. So I will uh, prepare to kind of um, quarantine myself and go get tested, make sure I'm negative before I go stay over with my family uh, over at my sister-in-law's house. So I'll be I'll be over there, uh, finally get to be with the family again. Yes. So... Uh, but also, we've had three uh, women who are, uh, a, you know, part of Cobra Kai that have also had babies. So, congratulations to Stacey Harmon, uh, yes! writer. I was thinking we, about her last yeah, night. Yeah, we, we've had uh, we've interviewed her. So, um, congrats to her. Congrats to uh, Sarah Gray Sanders, who plays Veronica. Uh, she was in Glory of Love. She was the date that Johnny was on where he was talking about, you know, an elbow, a flying elbow to the face, you know, that, that talk there. That was right. her. Yeah. She just had a baby. And also Kara Ann Marie, who we've yes. also interviewed, who plays uh, Sue, uh, that's part of the All Valley Committee. Yes. So uh, I'm seeing a lot of congratulations in the group. Uh, thank you all um, for the congrats. So, yeah, uh, baby coming in, I guess, a couple weeks or so. The The due date is November 9th, and I've been telling people I'm kind of low-key, hoping that the baby's born November 5th. Why November for all the, 5th? Back to the Future fans, no. Oh. November 5th, 1955. Ah! Uh, yeah. I'm, well, November 4th <laughs> is Ralph's birthday. Oh, okay. Isn't um, uh, John's November 15th? Yes. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, and Hayden's is June 9th. Or so 11th. Is June Mr. 11th. June 11th. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, they're June 11th. Mr. Miyagi and Hayden. No, I thought Miyagi's was the 9th. Is it the 9th? Well, uh, Mike P just uh, posted something on his Instagram story earlier that uh, Walter Hockman, his birthday was June 9th. Yeah. That's and actually so, my sister's birthday. That's my little sister's birthday. So anyway, uh, but yeah, um, this is amazing. I'm seeing like a lot of different names in the chat here, and they all seem to know us. So I feel these are 
some of our uh, followers like on Twitter and Instagram that maybe I haven't really seen in the YouTube. But then again, you know, we've had some live interviews where I don't even look at the the chat anymore, too, just because, um, you know, we kind of want to focus on the interviews so we don't really go to the chat. Mm -hmm. So for something like this, we do. So I'm yeah, it's, I guess it's been a while since I've kind of looked over um, but definitely seeing some new names. So I appreciate for uh, appreciate everyone um, being able to tune in. Uh, Christy saying Ron Thomas's birthday is also November fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a, a threefer in the fandom, um, and that's also the day Mr. Miyagi died. Uh, no, November fifteenth. Yes. Uh, I mean, you you would definitely remember it better than me. Yeah, because it, um, it's Ron Thomas's birthday. It's it's John Hurwitz's birthday, and it's the day Mr. Miyagi died. Okay, okay, I remember. And then. The date of birth, what was that tied to? I thought it was June 11th. I thought that was Hayden's birthday. But if you're saying that it's the 9th, then it's also the 9th. So. Oh. Uh, Miguel in the in the group chat there saying his birthday is October 29th. Uh, that is actually my 10th wedding anniversary. So and that Kaz is October. bringing Guy Fawkes Day on November 5th. What, what is that? Oh, V for Vendetta? I'm like, you don't know who Guy Fox is? Um, not not by name. Like, I'm more familiar with, like, V for Vendetta. <laughs> I'm sorry. Remember, remember the 5th of November? Yeah, yeah. That, well, that sounds familiar, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, maybe man. if we get a chance, um, if we ever actually get this goofy thing started, then... Um, since it's not a, you know, super huge chat tonight, we might be able to kick back and relax a little bit. I don't have to go pick anybody up from work. Yeah. Um, and even though, Elena, it is Saturday in Greece, it is not in the United States yet. Um, it, it's Saturday. Yeah. It, no, it's Friday. Isn't today? it? Today? Is it no, Saturday? today's Saturday. Did I lose an entire day? I, I'm yes. not drunk. Okay. It's, it's Sunday in Greece. Um... Damn, I seriously, I spent the entire day staring at my computer screen, willing myself to write, and I apparently lost the entire day. Yeah, well, you scared me for a second. I was like, do I really have to work again tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, 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 I'm positive today's Saturday. Uh, because, um, yes, guys. yes, yes, guys, make fun yeah. of me. I deserve it. Yes, go for it. I, I, I walked right into that one. I lost an entire day. Someone, someone swept their leg. Uh, uh, other, let's see, other news. Um, John Hurwitz tweeted out, posted on Facebook, on Instagram, that yesterday was the last day of the outlining of season four. Uh, they have been um, working on the outline for the last 14 weeks. And what that means is they all got on Zoom for the last 14 weeks and they went over beats of the story and trying to figure out, you know, um, what's going to go where in which episode, things like that. And then I would imagine that, um, the next step would be assigning, uh, certain episodes for certain writers to write the teleplay for those episodes. And then whenever they, um, schedule the shooting, which is obviously to be determined at this point, uh, that's when they'll, well, by then they'll have the script all polished up and and have it um, basically ready to shoot. And then from what we know from the previous seasons that they even make some changes on the fly too. But for the most part, um, everything will be ready when that's, uh, when they're ready to shoot too. So somebody was uh, somebody commented on Instagram yesterday and was like, "Well, season three is not even out yet." And I'm like, "Well, that is correct, but season three was also ready like January earlier this year." Right. But we all know that it moved from YouTube to Netflix, and now we wanted to, um, you know, give like new incoming fans time to watch the show, and they're loving it. And for all you know, I'm sure there's people that are tuning in right now live that found us because they are the, you know, the new Netflix fans. And so also, I guess I'm trying to think, I don't know if we even have, uh, have an episode where, well, we did the deep dive, right? Uh -huh. So I guess we, um, bring up again, reminder that season three will 
air on Netflix January 8th, 2021. So just a couple months away. Yes, not uh, not very far. Let me consult my handy dandy notebook. Cheat sheet here. Oh no, that's Blue's Clues. Notebook. We have 75 days, 4 hours, 26 minutes, and 41 seconds. Ah, very nice. And um, again, that's probably going to be midnight Pacific Standard Time. Why? Because Netflix is based out of San Francisco, which is on the west coast of the United States. And uh, I believe that was also the same time when seasons one and two uh, dropped as well. Yes, it was uh, because, definitely two in the morning. Because you stayed up all night to do um, a Netflix party with I some did. of our uh, yeah some some of our companions, and uh, I think I bailed out like halfway through the first season because I had to work the next day. You did. So. And then um, Pialani came in and fell asleep at the keyboard, so she was with us for the entire time, but she was asleep for ninety percent of it. Um, and if you think that, you know, those 74 days, 75 days, um, is, is it just too, too long, always remember that it has been 549 days, 22 hours, 33 minutes, and 15 seconds since we all watched season two. So Very nice. We're almost this is there. Amazing. We're so you close. You know, I, th- this is pretty awesome. Like, just the people talking in the group, they are very familiar with us, and um, I don't know. Like, I, I guess I'm more used to like when we do the All Valley tournaments. You know, it, it it's very much talking about the trivia and what we're talking about. Like, people are actually talking about listening to our episodes. And Brianna, you recommended the Cobra Guys to Moby Cat here, and so uh, really awesome. So if if um, if I've never spoken with you guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and and uh, checking out our content. Uh, we are always coming up with things and I think we usually have more ideas than we actually like uh, execute uh, yes. uh, some of these ideas. <laughs> ideas. Yes. Um, we have much bigger, is it, it, if it was food, we would say we have bigger eyes than stomachs. Uh, we have bigger brains than we do hours in the day um, when it comes to thinking things up. No, Jim, that 75 days is not based on it being Friday. That 75 days is in my phone and my phone cannot be wrong. Uh, okay, so do you have anything else that you think uh, that may not come up during this Q&A that you want to... Um, just a quick heads up. There are people out there. Uh, we ran into it a little bit. Actually, we ran into it a whole hell of a lot before Season 2. We're going to be running into it a whole lot more running up to Season 3. There are people out there who are making things up wholesale. Um, and they are trying to pass them off as truth, as leaks, as um, verified information, as this, that, and the other. Just bear in mind, everyone, that absolutely nothing you see or read in rando places on the Internet is going to be true. We have one source of news, and that is the writers. And if they didn't say it, then it didn't happen. We feel that we follow all the right people to get the most accurate news. So if you're finding out things or if you stumble upon things that you think that we don't know about, it's probably something that we didn't care about. Um, Because I have somebody that keeps commenting on, you know, on all of my different posts and it has nothing related to do, you know, to do with it. Like I feel, why don't you just hit me up in the DM but somebody's trying to send me a link to a YouTube video that apparently has the titles of the episodes of season three. Um, that's not something I want. And uh, again, we we try to provide you guys with like the up you know the up to date, most accurate information as we know it. Uh, things like that. That's not something we would leak or release ourselves either, because we know that the creators, the writers, like nobody wants that stuff out. And if they did, they'd have a listing out and they probably would have posted it themselves. Right. And I mean, that's as far as episode titles go, this is not even the first time that we've had someone swear they know all the episode titles for, you know, all 10 episodes. Um, I will, I will say that these, these 10 titles, having seen them, I will give them credit for being better than Cobra dies because that was just about the dumbest thing that anybody had ever thought up, um, and that will never not, never not uh, make me smile, but, um, 
you, you have to always bear in mind the source. And I actually have seen that video. Watch Party was kind enough to provide it to me. Uh, that particular video is 16 seconds long. There is no audio. It is two screenshots from someone who is an unknown quantity in this fandom who doesn't even really watch Cobra Kai, who will not tell anyone what their source is, but insists that anyone who talk about it credit them. Yeah. Um, and it really does look like it came off a wiki page. So it, if it didn't come officially from the top, I mean, you can't even trust IMDb anymore because no. people can log into IMDb, put anything they want there. Do you know? Well, first off, before I forget, I want to give a shout out to Kevin here who who uh, found us after uh, seeing me on Cobra Kai Theory. So uh, shout out to you for, um, you know, giving giving us a listen checking our channel out i know it's not easy when you subscribe to a channel and then a guest comes on like not a lot of people go check out the guest you know so i appreciate those that did find us uh through cobra kai theory also uh, watch party uh mentions us in in his videos so um yeah thank you to all the new uh, followers uh and your guys' support of us um so one other thing about the okay so uh, the question i was about to ask you brianna do you know when was it that I found out the episode titles of season two? When you found them out? Uh-huh. I have no idea when you found them out. I know when I found them out. The night it aired? Yeah, I'm like, as I watched them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did try, uh, I'm, uh, you know, like, this isn't spoiler. It's not a big deal, really. I, I did reach out to John, like, I don't know, an hour or so before uh, it was supposed to air because it was 9 p.m. my time. And um, I asked him if there's any way or somewhere I can find a listing of the uh, episode titles because for those that are in our group, what we did was we turned on uh, post-approval only for a week. So that way it um, you know prevented anybody from spoiling other members that you know weren't going to be able to watch the episodes right away or maybe even a few days. And so I created a thread, uh, individual threads for each episode, and I wanted to be able to include the title so that way people could find the thread and, and talk about whatever they want in there, spoilers and, and all. There would be a disclaimer. So um, yeah, I, I don't I don't like that stuff. And we we have you know the moderators in the chat. We have our group moderators as well that we talk to on a daily basis. If there's something to be put out there in the fandom, one of our eyes have seen it and and then we talk about it and then we share it. So um, I think we have a really uh, great group of people who are always scouring the inter interwebs. So yes. if yeah, if you find something else, like either we found it already or it's not something legit. So um, just go ahead and hold that to yourself. No need to reach out to us, and you know I. Yeah, yeah. And our 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 page moderators are incredible when it comes to yes. uh, digging up information, Amy, from everywhere on the internet, Amy and Mike, um, and making sure that <laughs> it gets shared um, around in the group so everybody can talk about it. Um, artwork. Fan fiction, a little bit of fan fiction, mostly artwork, videos, um, interviews, um, pages out of 80s teen magazines, my favorite like segment They're on great. the page. I love it. They're, nobody else is doing it in other groups because, you know, Amy has these. Right. So, you and know, we have Amy. I, so yeah. It so works uh, out. I, I think our group members are very lucky uh, to, you know, to have everyone that contributes to our page, whether they're members or moderators, like there's always something different for everybody. We have a lot of like original content creators. Like, you know, you see all these amazing artworks shared in other groups and stuff, but those artists are in our group as well, sharing their own art, you know? So I think that's, you know, something to be said there when they're hanging out in our group. Um, but also I see Joseph did ask a question about, you know, for those that are in our group, uh, yeah, it's spoiler free. We we turn on post approval for a week, for so from the it's gonna be what the eighth to the fifteenth or something, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then and then we'll lift it and then you know you can post whatever. But other than that, we, we yeah we're gonna definitely um, filter out anything that we feel is spoiler and you know delete it. And usually we reach out to the 
to the member and say, hey, yeah, you know, this isn't allowed right now. Yeah, so, yeah, the, there will be a one-week period where we uh, will be monitoring and filtering out spoilers. Right. So. And, Mr. Fruit, please remember, um, we do not know if Aftermath is true. We know that Watch Party came up with three titles, and he was told that one of the three was right. We all assume it's that one, because that was the best. But we don't know for sure. Yeah. Yep. So for those that uh, maybe have not heard our coverage of John Hurwitz's Q&A, basically, uh, once in a while, he'll take to Twitter and say, hey, ask me a question. You know, obviously, he'll avoid spoilers. Uh, Brianna, you'll read the answers to the questions which I will read. And we just give our thoughts on it. Okay, that's it. And I'm going to load up. See, I am so prepared. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I don't I don't know. I don't yeah, know what we're doing there. Tw- yeah, it's gonna take you twenty seconds to see it. But John Hurwitz's Twitter feed. So everyone can oh wow. Um I just realized I can no longer watch the chat because I have to scroll Twitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. I, I only have one monitor and I've already got two things sitting there. Um so yeah. And for those that are considering joining um, our group, you know, we, we try to be drama free. We try to hold people accountable. Um, you know, please, no name calling. Just you know, most of us are adults in there. Please act like it. Um, I don't know. We, we have some rules. Please go over them uh, before requesting entry because some people don't like our rules and, and that's fine. So, but we do have a lot of the cast members. All three of the creators are in there as well. They sometimes interact uh in in the threads so oh that was too funny what's that um i yeah it it switched to uh when i when i switched over to see what was showing on youtube it it started showing the youtube page inside the youtube video so i apologize all for the oh i see it yeah (laughs) temporary infinity loop that i stuck you in there um that's what happens when i do that so i'm going to very quickly load my well uh, while you're doing that I, i'm gonna answer a comment here uh quiet lightning says i'm still trying to fully understand why the waitress got carmen's pulpo wrong um well i the reason that was written in uh michael jonathan smith wrote that episode it's um it's a lot of people's pet peeves but the name that stuck out to me the most was josh healed uh, has like a big problem with you know servers not writing down uh, orders for that very reason. And it's just something they wanted to incorporate because they, they, they all like to go out and eat and things like that. Yes. Watch party. Act like adults on the internet? <laughs> what a strange group you have. No, we're actually, we're pretty good. We'll have a few people that kind of jump in and like, you know, bend and break all the rules. And they usually end up leaving on their own. Yeah, because they don't like us calling them out on it. Yeah. And, and again, we hold people accountable and we don't allow that stuff. I mean, we even have little Owen in there, you know, so we, we just we want to be drama free. And we, you, you know, like we're here to I, have I fun, not to score brownie points and ass pats. Yeah. You, you know, and, and again, we w- one of the rules I feel that some people had problems with, like really early on, was that no duplicates, right? No, no duplicate posts. Uh, from the exact same source, right? So you can have um, two articles from different sources that are talking about the same thing. That's fine. We don't want to have like 10, uh, 10 links to the uh, season three teaser. <laughs> you know what I mean? One is enough. And so eliminating all those duplicates, it, when you scroll, you're going to see something different every single time. Um, and obviously, after a few months, we might have to start, you know, allowing duplicates just because, you know, it, it's it's been enough time passed that we might have some new people joining in that, um, you know, that don't search and they'll just drop, you know, something that has been shared before. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen, especially you know once we get closer and uh, closer to release date when information releases get more packed and there's there's more coming in at a faster pace. Uh, it's something I just think that we can't completely avoid, but we will absolutely try. So yeah. All right. So Yikes. jumping back here, 
Oh really my small. god. This has been two weeks ago already. What the crap? You know what? I actually I thought it was a little bit longer than that, so two weeks isn't bad. I thought it was like Monday. No but way. But then again, I thought today was Friday, so what the hell do I know? Yeah, that's, um, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have literally lost all sense of time. It's just completely gone out the window. Pew! Okay. On my way back from a kick-ass first week on the set of Plan B. How about a mid-flight Q&A? And there he is on his little airplane. Yeah, I, I had to cover up the, the chat, too, because the, the, the words were just too small for me. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just saying that. Just no, just just in case people are like trying to say something to me or you, uh, we probably won't be seeing it. So. Oh no, I, I I've got it up in the on the iPad now. That was what okay. I was doing. Okay. All right. And so no, Kaz, I am not dunk or dunk or drunk. Yeah, he can't even spell <laughs> drunk, but he's insulting me. Okay. Well, he, it's probably like three a.m. over there. So. Maybe he's drunk. Yes, I think Wayne yeah. is drunk. Or sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. Uh, okay, here we go. We're going to start this off with MHTS News 365 at MHS Sports 1. Hey, John, are you still playing vintage music from the original Karate Kid? I hope you use You're the Best Around at the Right Time. You have nailed all the other classic songs with the scenes. You can expect more music from the original Karate Kid films in future seasons of Cobra Kai. We always do our best to pick the right moments to maximize the impact. So um, this one has come up pretty often, and he has said the same thing. Uh, I don't know if this is going to come up again on this particular Q&A, but people have asked about You're the Best, and same thing. They're going to wait for the perfect moment to use it again. Um, yes. What we heard in the Legacy trailer, that's just a Legacy trailer. I don't think they had anything to do with that, so I, I wouldn't count that. Right, and that was actually a slightly modified kind of remixed version, which I very Loved much it. like. Loved it. Um, and would be keeping in the spirit of the uh, Kari Kimmel's remake of Cruel Summer uh, to modernize You're the Best a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if they wanted to, they could actually get them some Joe Esposito on there because he's still making music, so... Um, Amy just gave everyone permission to badmouth you since you can't see it anymore, and I'm oh, going to pretend I can't either. <laughs> of course she did. Love you, Amy. <laughs> okay, moving on to Jeff Heisen, <laughs> at Jeff Heisen. Does it feel strange to be receiving such well-deserved praise for work that you completed a year and a half ago? Hmm. The Netflix release has been a surreal and wild ride. I'm mostly happy a lot more people have had the opportunity to enjoy the show. Pretty self-explanatory, and I agree. Um, I think you and I, uh, or you will agree, that we've gotten so many new followers on all the social medias. Obviously, we've mm -hmm. our su subscribers have jumped up on, on YouTube. I just wish people would check, more, uh, check out more of our interviews. Yes, I do too. Um, and, I mean, we've, we've got the subscriber base, and uh, the live streams and the live interviews, are really starting to pick up steam. Um, but just to remind everyone that if you're here for a live, we got tons of stuff, you know, that we're uploading at, on a, you know, two every two or three day-ish basis. Right, um, yeah. So there's always something going on. And even though it's not live, if, if, if it's something that you haven't listened to the podcast before, it's all new information for you. Yeah, we have um, 55 interviews and... The last old interview I put up was uh, Vanessa Rubio uh, just a couple days ago. And tomorrow uh, will be interview number 12 um, with Rose Bianco. I have that one ready to upload tomorrow. I, I mean, I could even do it tonight. But, you know, I want to give this episode some breathing room, too, and, and then eventually put this on the podcast probably tonight or um, early tomorrow. But, yeah, we, we've had – basically, we've – interviewed just about everybody um the creators came on john josh and hayden came on we had ralph and billy on that episode as well that was a live stream uh we had sholo we had jacob on live stream so you can see videos with them and us mm -hmm. um and we do some fun things too i did an improv with uh gianni and um owen morgan and that's a lot of fun and uh, yeah i the people are slower to get uh, not a lot of people have seen that one, but those that have seen it have really enjoyed it. And um, I had a lot of fun. And 
we we have the Banqui Award Show. Also, we're hoping to do maybe next week before I start my uh, little break. So, oh yes, we yeah. have an award show to put together, people. That's right. So we we got a lot of things um, coming up and um, a lot of content there to to consume. And hopefully, one of these days uh, we'll get a you know do over on that interview with Ralph and Billy so Bree can do it without sounding like a <laughs> the hysterical idiot. That'd, that'd be, be, one that'd of be my, amazing. My, my fondest wish would be to get a redo on that interview so I could do it without sounding like a moron. Um, okay, so moving on to I, Mario 94 our buddy, Iron Mario, uh, will ah. COVID have an impact on how fight scenes for CK Season 4 are shot? Um... I am not seeing this. Uh, should be right above the banner. Above the the, the banner. question is under the banner. The answer should be right above it for you. Oh, okay. The The logo is blocking you. Okay, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The It'll banner is blocking, blocking part of the question. Okay. Yeah. It'll definitely have an impact on the process, but not on the final result. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Um, I, I've been questioning the concept of a socially distanced fight scene, but then um, again, didn't Johnny and Daniel have a socially distanced fight scene at the pool in season yeah. one anyway? Well, I, obviously we haven't heard anything because they're not even in pre-production. They're still in the writing stages. If they can do something similar to what the NBA did, where they had a bubble, right? The cast and crew go down to Atlanta, they get tested, make sure they're negative, then they stay in a bubble and only come out of their trailers or their living area or whatever just to film, and it should be fine, right? Call it a day, go back to your rooms and stay that way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just if, if they can... Just stay in, wear a mask if they have to go out kind of thing. I, I mean, I'm no scientist, but I'm just saying, like, from what I've seen in the past few months, that stuff seems to work. I don't see why that can't work uh, here. Anything that they can and will do to wrap our beloved cast in bubble wrap, um, mm -hmm. I have no doubt that they will do because they love them at least as much as we do. Um, they're not going to put them in danger any more than we want it done. If they even so, have to fight in bubble wrap, hell, I'll take it. Okay, that sounds I mean, really... Um, I don't think they'll prevent them from COVID, but... Kind of fetishistic, but okay. Um, <laughs> moving on yes. to Troy Benjamin at Troy Still Plays. Any plans for a Cobra Kai making of book? Uh, not as of now, but I'm certainly not opposed to it. Making of, um, I mean, our interviews has you know, all the behind the scenes. Uh, uh, the uh, actual title of the Star Trek companions were the Star Trek companions. So we just don't have pages. Right. We are uh, the Cobra I, Kai companion. I know. I know a few writers. No, people who write. I pretend to. You write. Eh, sometimes. Sometimes I stare at a blank screen. Ha! Okay, to Steve T. At Stellan J? Huh. I thought his at was Steve. Um, how do you find a balance of the nostalgic factor and keeping it fresh at the same time on Cobra Kai series? And then they tagged you. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm looking at that too, and I uh, f at first I thought that we were part of the question, but no, I think not. he probably was replying to your RT. So. Got it. I got it. Okay, we pri uh, prioritize the modern story and employ nostalgia only when it supports that story. That's an answer we've heard before. Mm -hmm. But again, with new people coming in, then we're going to hear the same questions over and over. Um, right. Or quite, at least quest, not necessarily questions that have been asked over and over, but questions that we've heard answered before. Which, by the way, uh, for those that are interested, I mean, you can go back to some of our uh, 
if you listen to the audio podcast, you can um, check out the Cobra Kai news. That's what these are. We're going over all the Q and A's, and and we might have skipped maybe two of like the seventeen that we've done. And if you go back around the time season two was released, you're probably going to get a lot of like similar questions and questions that will probably be asked later on, and kind of get ahead of the game if you want to feel like. You know, you want to be that person at the uh, water cooler at work that knows some things. Check out those episodes. Ah, speaking of uh, water cooler talk and people who know things, Amy says, y'all, Troy's a great guy. This is two questions back. Um, and if you're into Black Panther and the world of Wakanda, he just had a hugely amazing book released. And while I'm being a Troy stan, he has a great Ghostbusters podcast crossroad. Ah, that's, that's that Troy. Okay. So yeah, yeah, basically yeah, I, what you're saying is anyone who had thought of putting together the book that Troy mentioned should just fuck off because he's already doing it. Okay, great. That's nice right. to know. Okay. Um, next question. Sonic Munther fan. At Month or Fan, will the official trailer for Season 3 come out in maybe a few weeks or November? I don't know exactly when a Season 3 trailer will come out, but most Netflix trailers come out a little closer to release. Uh, I hope December, because I'll be gone in November. Gone till November. Um, yeah. Because, you know, I told you that I'd probably bring my mic and you said don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I just I was reading something. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, no, let me I, give yeah. you a moment here. Whether or not you take <laughs> your mic, I don't think you should. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I, I was just telling um, the hubby about it today, um, that uh, the potential exists for Cobra Kai, Compre Cobra Kai Companion, the abridged Co version. Um, day? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cobra Kai Comp, um, uh, the abridged version. Because if something were to pop up in the next five weeks, there is a very real chance that you might be stuck with just me, guys. Yeah. Or uh, maybe <coughs> Watch Party could step in for me to help out a little bit. Oh, that Let's would see. be cool. That would be really fun. Look, I, I, I have some ideas and some like possible contingencies and plan for my leave of absence here. Are you planning a coup against yourself? here because uh, what are you going to do um, if i run away with watch party well say la vie right <gasps> i guess I, <laughs> I guess i just continue on my own and figure out how to help uh, how to engineer youtube <laughs> I, or i guess i'll just get stuck with the interviews all by myself <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah because you've never done that yeah. right <laughs> yeah i mean um I, I i've thought that you know if if a trailer came out during my leave, I was thinking if you were able to get someone like a watch party or someone else, you know, to kind of just jump in for me to, you know, give thoughts, I can, I don't see why I couldn't send you an audio clip of, you know, what I think. You kick it off with that and make any comments and then, and then you guys take over kind of thing, you know? That's cool. We podcast mm -hmm. with the ghost of Peter. Yeah, I could, I, mean, I could go no, for that. The ghost of Peter, I mean. Well, okay, yeah. Because you're not dead. Yeah. No. In spirit. There. Well, that's no better. It's still a ghost. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, figuratively, that's a little bit better. Oh, no, man. I hate I not know. having my glasses because I have to keep taking them off and putting them back on to see. I miss my old people bifocals. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm getting new ones Thursday, thank God. Um, next question is Rob Burke at Robco Burke. Where do I get me one of those Cobra Kai hoodies? Oh, same, same. Yeah. 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 Uh, this hoodie was the wrap gift, um, was a wrap gift Hayden, Josh and I, as well as our friends at Overbrook gave to the cast and crew when we finished filming season one. Uh, and I'm assuming he's talking about that red, um, what, what kind of jacket is it called? The bomber jacket? The one like Martin Cove was um, wearing when he was caught at the grocery store. It's not a bomber jacket, is it? It's like uh, a Letterman. It? It's like a Letterman's. Maybe it is like Letterman's. I don't know. Yeah. I just I know it's red, right? Yeah. And um, I believe that's the same one that Vanessa had hers stolen, 
and Dougie Cash was kind enough to give her a replacement. Yes, and in the the video, there was a video last year that Will Smith did uh, popping in, I forget what movie it was, but he popped in to visit someone, and he had Kaleeb with him, and Kaleeb had it on. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, because when they turned around, you you saw Kaleeb's back, and he had the... um, Oh, right, right. I I mistook him for, I think I mistook him for Dougie in a photo, and uh, John corrected me. Oh. Because it was like, it was an angle. You know, I mean, I know what Dougie looks like, but um, anyway, it was like the angle, because they have like a similar haircut. Ah, okay. Um, But yeah, I think that's the same one, and it, it has actually turned up for sale on eBay a couple of times. Must be Vanessa's. Um... Well, I think it's like rando crew people, but, you know, they're like Come five, on, 600 guys. bucks, which I oh, get, okay. I, you oh, know, I, okay, you're, you're the asking for the price, the memories. you are literally one of like a hundred people that's ever going to have that. Keep it. Right. Keep I feel it. bad for, for people like Owen, for example, who's going to outgrow his. <laughs> right. Maybe, I don't know. Well, maybe, you know. Um, Owen is more likely to, at this point, from what I've seen, than Nathaniel. Um, yeah. Owen seems to be growing, finally. Um, Nathaniel is still a tiny little guy. I should ask Gianni if he's outgrown his. <laughs> oh, I would imagine. Would he grow, like, three and a half inches between season one and season two, something like that? I'm not sure, but I did, uh, I, I actually spoke with him the other night. I, um, video chatted with him. Ah! Yeah, uh, him and his girlfriend Melissa. Shout outs to them. Um, yeah, I see they they were doing something, and I commented on Melissa's um, story, and then she said something, and I asked if Gianni was with her. She said yes, and I asked if I can video chat, and she said okay because I told her I told her I wanted to give him a hard time for ghosting me because uh, I texted him and he had not replied, so. Um, I, I guess he was like, I never got that text. And then he started going through his phone. He's like, oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> I go, yeah, what do you, what do you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's, uh, I guess he's kind of, um, he's not taking a break. He's just not really on Instagram, you know? And, but it was, it was like his phone text message. So I don't, I don't know how he missed that. Uh, he probably busy, put it down and just kind of forgot kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, just, just catching up with them really. Um, seeing what's what, you know? Talking about the banquets, I don't know. Maybe he might have something to do with it. We'll see. Ah. But um, talked to Aaron Bradley Danger this week twice. Uh, Matt Lewis a little bit. So it's always it's, it's nice, you know, kind of catching up with them, um, you know, on social media. So if, if you guys haven't already yet, just try reaching out to them, like on Twitter and Instagram. You know, a lot of them do reply, and if they don't, you know, they're busy. So don't don't take it personal. There's a lot of people that are reaching out, right. but some of them, you know, they do their best to reply. Right, they do. Uh, next question is from this Mike P guy, uh, Cobra Kai Wisdom. That guy went live with me on Instagram. So for those that are Back to the Future fans, go check it out because we showed off our collectibles. Aha! On Back to the Future Day. Yeah, I even kicked somebody off for like, you know, being a fool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I removed somebody me. from my live feed. It wasn't you, no. I, I don't do Instagram live because I don't get Instagram. I don't know how it works. I know. Okay, so since Cobra Kai came out on Netflix, so many celebs and big names have tweeted about how they've watched and loved it. Was there one that surprised you the most? I was most surprised by this awesome blog post by at the Pioneer Woman. So it is an article. Um, I'm not familiar with that name, but Brianna, did you have somebody that surprised you? You don't know who the Pioneer Woman is? Uh, Dr. Quinn? No. No. She was the medicine woman. Wait, that's Dr. Quinn? Yes. Dr. So Quinn, pioneer medicine woman. woman. Pioneer woman, right, right. she's like a cooking show program thing. She like sells pots and pans at Walmart, even. Like the Pioneer Woman bakes that like with this uh, huge um, Black Friday thing a couple of years ago my mother-in-law was all freaking about it um okay yeah so she's like a rachel ray kind of thing um some of my favorites some of my favorites would be 
Of course, the interaction with Carrie Underwood because it was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Cobra Kai with a K. <laughs> um, Mick Foley. Um, yeah. One of my personal favorite. Absolutely. When I saw that Mick Foley was watching Cobra Kai, I was so freaking happy. Um, Jake he Tapper. He uh, Stingray's dad. Yes. <laughs> Jake Tapper. Uh, was talking about Cobra Kai during <laughs> during the live feed of uh, the town halls last mm. week, um, which I thought was a hilarious timing. Uh, yeah, because you know it's it's this big global news event, and he's talking about Cobra Kai in the middle of it. Um, let's see who else. A you know lot of favorite? wrestlers. A lot of wrestlers. Who's your favorite? I mean, the wrestler part, I mean, that that kind of makes sense. You know, it's like that type of sports, you know, mm -hmm. contact sports. Um, my favorite would be Goldberg. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. She took over like an entire segment of The View one day just to lecture them about how they should be <laughs> watching it. But the thing that got me, and this actually, she was like, so Cobra Kai, have you watched it? And she's like going on and on about it. And I'm like. Ralph was on your show a year ago. You didn't watch it then? Like, huh. Well, I, I didn't watch that interview, so I, I don't know what they talked about. Yes. Like, I Ralph mean, she probably was brought it up. With them yeah. a year ago. I remember watching it. I'm like, wait a minute. Unless my brain is completely messed up, um, they were like, you know, swearing that they had watched it and talking all about it a year and a half ago. And now Whoopi's talking like she'd never seen it before. Well, I mean, maybe she did see it, but I, I don't know. Maybe she watched the first two episodes, or maybe she just did. And not everybody has time to um, like fully research whoever's coming on their show. I mean, again, all the interviews we've done, like th there's some people that I just read strictly off the IMDb. If I have the time, you know, if it's scheduled in advance, that's when I am able to watch like an episode of something they were a guest on or a movie that they did, things like that. So I, I can understand. I'm sure Whoopi's pretty busy. Uh, yeah, I'll give her a little bit of that. Yeah, okay. All right, J-Cat, also mentioning uh, James Rodé Rodriguez uh, from Psych, uh, tweeting at Billy. Um, nice. And I think he may have tweeted at Ralph, too, because they were both on Psych, and Ralph was actually on more than Billy was. Um mm. So, um, I don't know if Dulé Hill has said anything. I would hope he has. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, James Rodé Rodriguez did. Um, there was there was a um, there was somebody on Twitter that had a verified account, and they're like, "I blamed you guys for not telling me about Cobra Kai," and I had like one of those record scratch moments. I'm like, excuse. Uh, we've been here for like two and a half years trying to tell people to watch this damn show. <laughs> Blame us for not telling you about Cobra Kai. Right. And then, you know, in the realm of people that um, surprised me that they would watch it because it just doesn't seem like it would be their kind of entertainment would be Ben Shapiro. Eh. Uh, that was just, it was a very, very surprising thing um, that, uh, it, it just doesn't seem like his kind of entertainment, you know. Uh, but the uh, same with Jake I, I, Tapper. I heard he's a fi uh, big fan of WAP, or WAP, however you want to pronounce it. I've not heard that song. I've never heard. I don't listen to modern music. Song. I'm awful. It's a good song. There's a there's a great remix too, where they uh, remixed it with uh, Mariah Carey's "We Belong Together." Okay. Amy said that she thinks Dulé was in the mentions. Um, with Ralph Billy and, and uh, James Rodriguez, so I, that would be funny. Kurt Fuller, get, let's get Kurt Fuller in on it too, just because I love Kurt Fuller and he's hilarious. Okay, um, next question from Ann Deacon at Escaper Anya. Hey, aren't you in she's the in chat? Our group. Yeah, yeah, she's in the chat right now. Oh, I don't know if, oh, is she? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, I think that's Moby Cat, actually. Uh, oh. My eyesight isn't great, but the banners in the Miyagi Dojo are not the same ones from Karate Kid 2, right? Same writing, same writing, of course, but shorter, yes? They are not the same exact ones. Daniel had his own made. Yeah, they're, they're different. I think Daniel's is a little bit wider. Yeah, um, and a little bit fancier. 
Um, you know, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's been, what, 34 years in his timeline, so um, the quality's gotten better, you know, and and I'm sure Daniel had more money than when, um, whenever Miyagi's was made and whatever. There's, right. You know, maybe there's was even handmade. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Miyagi's most likely were. Um, and if you're noticing, if you're, if you're new here and you're noticing me scrolling by questions without asking them, we do not ask, um, for the most part, about other counterbalance properties, uh, other projects that they're working on, um, sports and personal questions and things like that. We tend to skip over those as well. Yeah. Uh, we only ask the ones that are relevant to the show. So next is William Heaps at MadWilliam88. Uh, will the Cobra Kai game music be composed by Leo Berenberg and Zach Robinson? I believe Zach and Leo were involved with the music for the Cobra Kai video game. Guys, can you confirm or deny? Um, I don't think they did, did they? I don't know. Uh, that's but that would be kind of kick-ass if they uh, were involved that way, too. Yeah, I would I would actually click on that to find out if they ever did, but I don't want to lose my place. So. Yeah, I get it. Not doing that. Okay, so next question is... Which, real quick, the game out uh, due twenty the twenty seventh. Yes, uh, next Tuesday. Coming up Tuesday. Uh, uh, Gianni's birthday. Just so you guys know. Ah, oh, excellent. How old will he be? Nineteen or twenty? Uh, nineteen. 19. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question again, Mari. Grand Army spoilers at Isabel poems. I just need to know if Dimitri will have any love interest in season three. I need an answer to live. I won't give spoilers, but I'd suggest you keep living to watch season three and find out. Um, I I don't hope or whatever, but when I interviewed on Lisa Cochran, who plays uh, Yasmin, um, we were talking about, or we were kind of, we were trying to figure out like what happened with Yasmin after the the beach party. Like, how did she get home? Whatever. And we were kicking around the idea, like, oh, maybe Dimitri was on his way home, saw her, and offered her a ride. And um, at Gertie Delicious on Instagram, uh, artist, and she also does some fanfic writing. And she took the that idea and wrote a little short story too, which you can find online. Uh, it's shared in our group, and uh, and I think she did a great job at writing that story. So uh, I think it would be kind of cool if we see something, maybe not a complete hookup, but perhaps Dimitri's still trying to shoot his shot with Yasmin if her character returns. That would be very cool, and I would love to see him have the confidence to actually get her. Right, and I say if because nothing has been confirmed, so if you have thoughts... Keep them to yourself, please. Well, Crystal's thoughts are Dimitri is too good for Yasmin, and I, <laughs> well, I actually <laughs> don't disagree with Crystal there. Um, yeah. Okay, so next question. Paul Mannion at Mannion Paul. Do people praise the show when they see that dope sweatshirt? Somet sometimes they praise the show. Sometimes they praise the sweatshirt. Sometimes both. I would do both. Yeah. You know what's funny? What? Is... After all these years and me running around this little bitty town in my Cobra Kai and Karate Kid clothes for the last two and a half years and telling everybody to watch this freaking show, went into the gas station after the city council meeting the other day, had my Cobra Kai coat on. Someone asked me if I'd seen the show. <laughs> I just well, turned around and laughed. I, 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 don't I, know. I No, I've never heard of it. No. What? Um, for those that haven't seen it, uh, I actually have a... Uh, the the lotus headband as as a mask, and I had it um, turned into a mask by Frank Helmer, who is the costume designer for brag, Cobra Kai. Brag, 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 brag. Well, but I don't think anyone's ever like mentioned that. Like, oh, hey, that is that from the Cobra Kai? Like, nobody's ever commented on my mask. Yeah, hey, no one, no except for like on social media when when they know. But I'm I'm talking about like. Out yeah. at the grocery stores and stuff. So yeah, no one's ever asked about mine either. And I've got the, of course, like the rest of us, poor schmoes had to get mine from <laughs> T Public. But um, <laughs> uh, I've got the lotus petal and I've got the bonsai tree. Um, and no one has ever really identified them either. But if I wear anything with the cobra on it, they do. 
like immediately. Oh, that's a little bit more recognizable now. Yeah. Disappointing. Yeah, I get it. Uh, next question from Ann Deacon again. Uh, Hi, John. Is the wheel that floats on top of the pond in Miyagi's house really free-floating, or were Tanner and Mary helped with some TV magic in the wheel technique training? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, the wheel was build, built by nope. a top engineering team. The same people who have... No, who help... The same people who helped on the Fast and the Furious movies who help... Uh, help. Hydraulics are involved and there was a guy off camera controlling it remotely. So that's interesting. So if we had gotten on it, it probably would have been fine then. We knew that. Well, I, I don't remember the conversation with Hayden. I do. Okay, what did he say? I'm actually, but he just, he was telling us about it being hydraulic and about there being the guy standing over there um, operating I don't remember it that. and things like what that. Was because I doing? it was, it was actually, I don't know, you were talking to the rock maybe. Um, but it was sitting there on the pond at kind of a tilted angle because they hadn't flattened it back out. Right. Um, and I'm actually oh. disappointed that Hurwitz answered because that was something that you and Amy and I knew that no one else did. Now everybody knows. Now I'm bummed. Well, I, I guess I, um, I, I don't, I don't think I knew that. And you're, you're right. I was probably filming at that time because there is that minute and a half video out there of me recording in the backyard of Miyagi's house. Yeah, and I was, I, Amy and I were standing over at the pond talking to Hayden for a little while after that. Yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't have is... our bathing suits, so I did not want to walk through that water. No, no, it would have been gross anyway. And I did consider jumping. Yeah. So if I made it, I would have been okay. Sounds like. Except for the fact that it was already parked at a slight angle and you never would have been able to straighten it out and you just slid right off onto your ass. Well, I'm sure that I could still balance myself in a certain way. Like, I wouldn't try to, like, leap on it and stand straight up. I mean, l look, I think a lot of us have seen me do that kick on Instagram and Twitter, right? Which was freaking amazing. It's like, oh, my God, Thank when you. did you Thank learn you. to do this stuff? Yeah, it, uh, it was my fourth try. Um yeah, I, I think I would have been okay. But my fear, see, and again, like, I didn't know about the hydraulics thing. And if he said it in front of me, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, Hayden. But I didn't want to risk getting wet because, you know, wet shoes, wet socks. Ugh, nobody wants that. Yeah, that's true. And Amy points out that uh, she wanted to know how deep it was. And it was really hot that day. It was really uh, it was. It hot. was in the 80s. I feel like, you know, like high 80s, I think, when we were there. Um. Not, well, the humidity was crazy high. Okay, maybe low 80s and it felt hotter because of humidity? Probably. Yeah, because I know when I got off the airplane, I had normal hair. And by the time we got <laughs> to the set, it was six miles wide. So Right. Oh, which, by the way, um, just a little teaser here. But we'll, we'll probably do another uh, video kind of going over those like photos and you know some of the videos from that time. But there is an episode that we did called... Uh, Ugh. Set, set up, wait, set, visit, meet up, oh my, something like that. I was trying to do like the whole Wizard of Oz thing. Yes. But it's on the audio podcast if you want to hear our experience um, visiting the set and uh, the, the meetup that we uh, coordinated uh, down in Atlanta with some of the cast members. And uh, it was during Dragon Con, so it was a lot of fun. But yeah, we, we hope to... Um, do another video or do a video where we can show uh, pictures, you know, for those that people for the people that want to watch a video. Yes. Um, OK, so as we come up to the next answer, I would like to point out to everyone, if you ask a question, don't delete it, because then we have to do what I'm about to do. And that takes me or off. because That was an awesome <laughs> answer. Um, but we can't answer it because we can't see what the question was. So on to Karate Papa at Karate Papa 11 to Paul. Why did you guys move the tournament to May in Cobra Kai as opposed to December in Karate Kid Part 1? We did not move it. The All Valley Karate Board did. It also happened to fall in May during the story we were telling. Yeah, makes sense. No biggie. Yeah. yeah. Whatevs. Makes sense. It's I mean, it's been 50 years. I'm sure they've changed all types of months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, things move around all the time. Uh, Chris Commando, at Chris Commando, 
In season one, Daniel listens to an Islanders Devils game. We know Ralph Macchio is an Islanders fan, but who does Daniel root for? The Devils came to New Jersey shortly before he left for California, and the Isles were in the midst of their dynasty. LaRusso is an Islanders fan. Ralph Macchio wouldn't have it any other way. See, that is a different answer than he gave the last time. That is growth, and that makes me happy. Because the last, the, last time the last time someone asked that, he said that Ralph is an Islanders fan, but that Daniel could go either way. Now, either huh. he reconsidered it, or Ralph was like, the hell Daniel could go either way. Uh, <laughs> Probably the latter. Put his foot down, and uh -huh. Daniel LaRusso became an absolute Islanders fan. Um, because I think that Daniel LaRusso is an absolute Islanders fan, as he should be. Not that I okay. give a crap about hockey, but if I did, I'd be an Islanders fan. Go Mighty Ducks. <laughs> Uh, Qui-Gon Glenn at Real Glenn Davies. Do you think Cobra Kai will be released on Steelbook as I'm a collector and I have to have it? Did you scroll or? A... Um, oh, it... there we go. It's moving. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wasn't aware of Steelbook until this tweet, but I hope so. And I don't know this to be true, but I feel Steelbook is more of a Best Buy thing. Those are the the um, literal like steel looking. Oh, I know. Um, That's what uh, I'm asking. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah, Back to the Future Day they released um, uh, Back to the Future in 4K uh, for its 35th anniversary. I I have a 4K TV, but I don't have a 4K player, so I just got me the Blu-ray again, which is fine, and I'll eventually get the 4K if I ever upgrade. But um, when I was doing some research, like who has what special edition and what, you know, what this and that, uh, Best Buy showed that they had the uh, steel book. And my army buddy David is listening because he just texted me Mighty Ducks Flying V. <laughs> so shout out to David, uh, who just purchased two T-shirts. So thank you for your support, buddy. Which David? David number one uh, or army, David number two? Number two, Army David. Okay, adorable David. Yeah, they're both adorable. <laughs> well, no. David number one is hot. Um, Let's not talk about them while one is listening in. We they're both hot, if you ask me. We stand the Davids. We absolutely well, I definitely stand, stand the Davids. Davids. <laughs> both of them. Hey, AJ! AJ entertains? AJ, AJ entertains. AJ, AJ entertains. Hicks. So, hey, hell, since he's here... Um, don't know when it's going to happen, but AJ and I will at some point do some kind of dance-off on Instagram. <laughs> I want to see the dance-off. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So All right. I'll get with him. We'll figure it out when. That's going to be awesome. Oh, and he just texted. Oh, my God. Ha, 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 David. <laughs> so, getting a, a, a okay, live shout-out. Okay, so, out. yeah, he's, he's hanging out in here. Okay, and we have, we have an invisible David, so everyone behave. <laughs> Um, next, qu next question comes from Ben at Texas Jersey Boy. Forgive me if this has been asked before as I haven't come across it in any Q&A sesh. Was there any consideration to bring back Pat E. Johnson to ref the All Valley in Season 1? I know he's up there in age, but the guy was always in fantastic shape. Was he just not up to it, perhaps? We did think about it, but felt we'd carry on the tradition by having Cobra Kai's amazing stunt coordinator, Hito Koda, act as the head ref for uh, the fights he brilliantly choreographed. Which is, you, you know, like, if you know anything, they like to um, kind of emulate the formula that of the original uh, movies. And so that's what he's talking about here, you know, um, Hito Koda's stunt coordinator, so having him... Uh, a referee, but I don't see why they couldn't have had him as one of the other refs. I, I feel there's at least two other refs that wasn't Hito. Uh, yeah, yeah, there were. Uh, there's an older gentleman, and there's the one, the the um, a woman with longer hair, um, and a guy like in his late twenties, maybe. Yeah, yeah, the 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 one, the bald one with the beard. Um, that did uh, Hawk with the Superman punch. Um, 
Well, now I'm thinking I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the reps confused between the show and the movies too, because the 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 girl that raised the flag that was working the flags and Johnny and Daniel's match keeps popping into my mind. Mm. Um, and I know she definitely was on the show, but um, Lila Kane at Ultio Corinta. Uh, in a scale of one to ten, how would you grade the most surprising thing in season three? You can't say what it is, though, but maybe what episode? Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? Oh, well, she's really trying, isn't she? She is. Um, I love Lila. She tries. Yeah. She tries. Bless her heart. Yeah, we, we've been, we, we, we're very familiar with this name, um, definitely for the last couple of seasons. Uh, season three is packed with tens, of course. And... You know, that's that's on par with what he's been saying. Like, it's all worth the wait. It's all worth the wait. His family has seen it a number of times with him. They all love it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over listening we to him it. talk about it. Um, so Watch Party asks, uh, didn't Hito's brother play one of the refs? I don't, I don't know that, actually. You probably should have asked him that when you interviewed him. I mean. It should have come up at some point. I mean, if you remember from that interview, he didn't even um, – He, I think they talked about some of the schools, but he wasn't even going to say that one of them was his dad's school, which Janelle had to jump in because, you know, he was so modest. And so um, so she uh, gave some love to his dad's uh, karate school, which um, after we released that interview, Hito's mom shared the interview and commented and – you know, shout it out, Janelle, for dropping that since, you know, he was just one of those guys that, you know, he doesn't doesn't want to be in a limelight like that. You know, it, it's just it's not a big deal to him. Right. And another so, of the another of the karate schools featured is Owen's stepfathers. Right. All star karate. I believe uh, it was where Owen received his black belt. Mm hmm. Um, OK. Uh, next question is a melancholic mania. At Michael Mayer, is the 80s style music of Cobra Kai new music sounds like it? Was actual 80s music considered for the show but couldn't be used due to licensing issues? Because I've wondered those moments to use that style of music, why not use already classic tracks? Did they not listen to season or watch season two? Uh, or season uh, one? I was kind of wondering yeah. that myself, but. Uh, we use tons of classic 80s tracks and even some of Bill Conti's original score, but sometimes we'll use recording uh, for various reason, cost, impact, etc. And our composers are massive fans of 80s music and often create new songs with an 80s style. Uh, that one, that last comment there is definitely season two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, season two, the season two score, I was listening to it again today while I was staring so was at I. the blank page pretending to write. Um, both seasons I, I listened today on the, uh, the soundtrack and and i checked out a couple um tracks of uh zach robinson's album the construct pretty good it is kind of what you'd expect from um like the season two cobra kai you know like heavy synthesizers and stuff very 80s yeah and and the score i think it fits right in you go back and you you listen to the bill conti some of the more heavily synth um, synth music, especially from the third movie, and then listen to the score of the show right out, and they lead one right into the other perfectly. I think they're they're very very compatible. I love it. Um, I don't I don't know if I have a favorite track um, from season two. I, I I didn't I haven't listened to it as nearly as uh, enough as season one's uh, soundtrack, but I really love Furious Hawk. Uh. I would say probably the most recognizable from season two would be Hallway Hellscape. Sure. Uh, because as soon as it starts, you know, it's like it, the, the fight starts playing in your brain. Uh, the one that I enjoy listening to most often, I just completely forgot the name of it. It's the montage, the back and forth between the concrete truck and the balance board. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, um, I, just, I it, love listening to it. It's so fun. Wouldn't... I, I wonder if that's wheel technique. Uh, yes, most likely. Yeah. That would be a good title for it. Yeah, because I mean, there was definitely one that I listened to today that was wheel technique. I, I feel that might have been the montage one. All right, next one. Oh, bye, Elena. Um, okay, so next question. Andrew Patterson at AC Patterson 975 In a recent Instagram live stream. Why did I just say that that way? 
In a hmm. recent Instagram live stream with Mary Mauser, Peyton List said something about how the role of Tori came down between her and some other actress, and she was positive that the other actress would get it. Could you tell us who this other actress was? Nope. Peyton List was definitely our top choice, and I'll never comment on people who didn't get a role out of respect for them. And uh, I feel like everybody's that way, too. Like, you listen to some of the interviews we've had, and some will say, like, oh, you know, there was somebody else. Like, Jacob. Jacob said that there was another uh, actor, though he said he forgot the name. But a lot of them, like, I don't I don't think anyone's actually name-dropped anybody. Right, and he did mention that um, when Peyton texted him to tell him that she read, uh, she didn't, you know, she was like, maybe I'll get it and things like that. So I don't think she was... Super, super confident. If she was their number one, she did not know it. Yeah. Um, which is probably a pretty cool way to get, you know, to get your, your way into a role. Um, and she just seems to be such a super, super sweet girl anyway that she probably wouldn't think she would be the top of their list. Uh, she just strikes me as really, really sweet and, and modest and humble, you know? Mm. So... But yeah, they they all uh, and Sholo even directly said that he wouldn't he wouldn't talk about other uh, people that were up for other roles because he didn't think it was it was right to do that. Yeah, yeah, right. Sholo was another one that also mentioned that there was uh, other Miguel's. Um, next question is from our friend Shavon at Cobra Kai Art. When picking actors for the show, do you have ones in mind for the roles, or is it mostly a case of the best of the auditions? Who would you love to see in the show and as what type of character? Yeah, and you guys follow uh, Siobhan on Instagram, cobra.chai.art. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually we pick actors from auditions. Occasionally we'll write a role for an actor we love, like Stingray for Paul Walter Hauser. I am dying to have Charlie Corsmo play Dimitri's dad uh, if he's willing to return to acting, which I feel like I think a lot of us see it and have maybe even suggested that because he was in uh, Harold and Kumar. I'm going to be a horrible, terrible person and admit that I cannot call Charlie Corsmo's face to mind. I'll have to look him up when we're done. Uh, he was also in Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Could he play? I think, I think that was him. Uh, the, the tall elf. I think. God, am I getting that wrong? <laughs> Bernard was uh, David Krumholtz. Wait, Charlie Cosmo. Oh, man. That's the problem with these lives. We can't edit this out. No. <laughs> but I can on the audio podcast, if I remember. <laughs> yeah, no, Ber Bernard was most definitely um, David Krumholtz because Bernard no, stabbed right. Carter and Lucy. Dang it. Okay, somebody's going to correct us in the chat, so you keep an eye on that. Uh, it's probably going to be Amy, I'm guessing. Or Mike. Ned from Can't Hardly Wait. Nerd. God, stupid glasses. Nerd from Can't Hardly Wait. Nope, don't remember. Oops. Wait, wait, and yes, nerd? we do not speak of Krumholtz because he stabbed Carter and Lucy. All right, we will look him up later because I'm sure I will know him as soon as I see him. I'm just a bit of a fool at the moment. My glasses don't work. Question from Amy Suzanne. With visual aid. See, this is why putting the stream actually up makes so much more sense question that i guess we never asked oh uh, charlie corsmo he played uh robin williams's son uh jack and hook and he was also the kid in dick tracy i knew i knew the name i've reviewed oh. both of those movies on on my uh movie podcast okay now i feel like an idiot i doubt he's eight anymore no no when are we gonna <laughs> eat that was his line from dick tracy good movie too i, I do like dick tracy it's a good movie it's um, um actually if you watch that like it it has a lot of I feel I feel Batman Begins borrows a lot of things from that movie Dick Tracy I think Dick Tracy was kind of ahead of its time but anyway um this was just a gag there okay uh, I didn't even fun... get to ask, finish asking the question oh I thought you did uh, no I said question that I guess we never asked and you started talking oh I'm sorry Amy Peter did it. He stepped all over your question. You see that? Was this an outtake a gag for a pick, a deleted scene, or what? This was just a gag. And for those not listening on the YouTube stream, it's the picture of uh, Johnny doing yoga. He is uh, stretching uh, amongst the other 
yoga ers <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Uh, um, yoga practitioners? Uh, Travis James, um, who is Broham from, uh-huh. uh, fr- from the first season, he... Oh, gosh, what was it? He worked on something recently with the yoga instructor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fun fact. Um, yes, Amy, I do agree. The Mandy Madonna duet, What Can You Lose, is one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, that, That's a great soundtrack. That, that means, entire I've... album, Madonna's entire album. Because uh, yeah. that's the one that Vogue came from. Hanky Panky is on there. Um, Going Bananas is on there. That is one of my favorite Madonna albums of all time. It is so fun, and it is so funny, and it is so awesome. But on the topic of Madonna, that uh, I'm forgetting the title of that song, but that's that's slow song from Dick Tracy. At the very least, it got nominated for Best Original Song. I don't remember if it won. Um that's what can you lose? That was her and Mandy Patinkin. Okay. Oh, I love Mandy Patinkin. Yes. Yeah, because Mandy Patinkin played um, the pianist, the piano player. I can't. I just completely forgot his name. Idiot Keys. Idiot Keys. No, that, is, it, okay, was it? Okay. That sounds right. All right. I used to have Dick Tracy stuff hanging all over my bedroom, and damned if I can remember any of it. That's crazy. I did not know this about you. You, you like that movie, huh? Uh, cool. I was a huge, huge Madonna fan. Yeah, um, what a what a great cast too! It's such it's a huge cast. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, check out Paul Sadek for the review. Ah, okay. <laughs> you, you actually go. watched that one. Awesome. Uh huh. Um, next question from my bestie Carrie at Switch Eight Forty Two. One of the funniest moments from season two was Johnny aggressively eating chips at Daniel in two oh nine. Was that scripted or just something Billy did? I could be wrong, but I think we scripted that uh, he'd be eating chips, and that's just the amazing way he chose to eat them. Um, for another amazing uh, uh, attempt at eating chips or whatever, again, uh, the uh, Gianni and Owen Morgan uh, fake auditions, the improv that we did, they also reenacted that scene in their own way. <laughs> yes. I, I love the way she... I, I turned it on so everybody could see it on repeat. Oh, okay. The gift there. Um, I love the way she put the question that he's aggressively eating chips at Daniel. Because he really is. Because he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He really is. It's just like he's assaulting the salt shaker. I mean, he's looking at Daniel. Yeah, he is. And they, actually, I think the second one was more aggressive, and that was the one he was like looking him straight. He's square in the eye. Um. I can go for some chips and salsa now. I could too. Man, I wanted yeah. Mexican food so bad tonight, and we ended up having frozen pizza. I was so disappointed. I had a bun me. Vitamin sandwich. Oh, okay. I've heard yeah. of that before. All right, so Lila Kane again. We have the comics, the soundtracks, and the new game incoming, but what other merchandise would you like to have from the Cobra Kai show? What would be your greatest wish? I don't see the answer yet. Give it a second. Yeah. Uh, since before season one premiered on YouTube, we've been lobbying for a hawk specific Halloween costume that comes with the mohawk. To this point, it hasn't happened. That'd be kind of cool. And I wonder if you could just find like a blue or red mohawk, you know, and just add it to the costume. Oh, I'm sure mohawk on a on a uh, bald cap. I'm sure Spirit Halloween has it under like a punk costume, or yeah. Spencer's would have it, you know. How does uh, one lobby for something like that? Does do they have somebody that will reach out to costume places like a Spirit Halloween and say, you know, we have some it, ideas? Is it horrible that I'm 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 now envisioning like Hayden holding his breath and stomping his feet and going, "I want a hot costume." <laughs> no, he's going to ask for a Terry Silver before a hot costume, a ponytail. That just popped into my head. And I'm like, oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, I don't know why I would think it would be Hayden. He doesn't really strike me as the temper tantrum throwing type. No. Okay. No. No, he's much too sarcastic to throw a temper tantrum. Are you kidding? Okay, so skipping again. First of all, because it's unrelated, and second of all, because stop deleting your tweets. Uh huh. Next question, and Deacon again. 
Um, any chance we'll get audio commentaries on Cobra Kai series? I listened to the audio commentary of Karate Kid by John Avilton, Robert Mark Kamen, Pat Morita, and Ralph. They seem to enjoy each other's company so much. And behind the scene nuggets are things my geeky heart craves. Uh, it's, it's scrolling. It's scrolling. And there we stop. Okay, we'd love to do this type of content, whether it's an after show like Talking Bad, Commentary Tracks, a podcast. It's all been discussed. Not sure what the exact plans are at this point. Um, I also comment under this and said, a podcast, you say? <laughs> yes, you did. You did. Like, hey, um, we could do that. We're available. We're doing that. <laughs> give us, give us, give us a ring. Um, yeah. Well, we're we're doing that. You and me. We're not doing that with members of the cast. We don't have freaking Billy but and But I'm saying Ralph that we totally could. We we oh that's why yeah we absolutely could volunteering our services to talk to Billy and Ralph every single week. No problem. Uh huh. Um, and any other cast member that you know would take us up on it. Hey, he's I'm he's cheap. in there. Who? Hmm? What? Uh, Adelson. What? Adelson came. Adelson oh. showed up. So I was saying, hey, hey, hey. Yep. Hey, hey. Um, all right. So next question from a former, oh, Jonathan Hunter at John R. Hunter, 1978. From a former Karate Kid supporting actor. Was he in the Karate Kid? Uh, He's on the show. Maybe. Okay. maybe Director John Avilson invoked rivalry on the set of his movies where everyone, even the supporting actors, were always competing with one another. How does that compare with the actors on the set of Cobra Kai? Do you invoke rivalry also? I I don't get what he was... Anyway, uh, our set is a love fest, but there's plenty of Cobra Kai Miyagi-Do specific pride amongst the actors in each dojo. Um, was Jonathan trying to say like how, you know, the, the Cobras, um, you know, kind of did their own thing away from Ralph. And right, that's, that's what he's yeah. talking about, the, right. the having them split so that, like, Ralph now will tell stories about going into the commissary and he would want to sit with, you know, Billy and, and Robin and uh, Ron and them, but he would not feel comfortable doing so, so he ended up eating lunch by himself every day. Um, and it's really kind of sad to think about it, but, you know, this is the way that Avilton decided to do it. But what I'm kind of hung up on is, was Jonathan in one of the Karate Kid movies? I know he's been on the show. I am, I was not aware he had been in the movies. That is brand new information. Can huh. you delete a tweet, um, that... Somebody sent you. <laughs> Did I? No, can you? Like, like just in general. Um, remember at the top of the show when we were talking about, like, things we don't want to see? Uh, and I mentioned how somebody tried to, like, give me the link to the list. Well, I got a tweet with that exact same thing that I said I don't want. Hide it. You have to click on the arrow, but you can hide it, and that will keep any. That'll keep it from really, showing I, I think on this your is timeline. The same person. They have the same last name, but it's a different first name. Like I don't want to see this. I keep deleting their comments on my Instagram posts, and I don't think they're getting the idea. Um, just a heads up to any of the big three that might be listening. You got people out there hawking some seriously fake episode titles, seriously hard. And um, if you can do anything to stop them, you might want to. Uh, I mean, if, it, if, it, if it's fake, I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, deal, you know? it's just... It, we had that one guy, like, before season two. I remember. a guy on Facebook that he was all like, Oh, I was a lawyer and I was working on set, but I never signed the NDA, so I can tell you all about it. And here it is. And every word out of his mouth was pure crap. You know, but he he sucked a lot of people in. And then there was the guy on Facebook over the summer that he was he was like, oh, well, they're going to drop the trailer. And my buddy knows way more than the writers do. And, you know, and guy, he sucked in so many people. And most of us were going, you know, like, guys, this is not real. This is not real. And he sucked so And th these people are hurting so many people doing this. It's not funny. 
Yeah, we can't save everybody. You know? it, but it, it infuriates me because it's not funny and it's hurting people. It's actively hurting people. No, I get it. And I don't understand. I just, I don't get it. We're not supposed to, unfortunately, you know? I guess, yeah. It just pisses me off. All right, no, next I question. I, I, I'm getting like really irate with this person right now. Like, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to block them because I feel bad. Because, like, I guess from their perspective, they're doing me a favor somehow, trying to give me this link. This is the fourth attempt at giving me this link with the supposed titles. Like, I, and I haven't replied. Maybe I should, but I just keep deleting them. And now I got a freaking tweet that I can't delete. <laughs> Uh, you can hide it though. If you hit the arrow, you can hide it. And I, that'll I did. Hide it I, I, I hid the conversation. And, yeah, um, that way no one yeah. will see it but you, and only if you open it. So, mm-hmm. all right. So moving on to Aleshka Alvarado um, at Aleshka A. What is the feeling that you and Cobra Kai feel are closer to us, the Latino community, and that in these times of racism towards the Latino community, you can see a change, and it is in Cobra. I sincerely love it. Greetings from Mexico. Uh, we love how much the Latino community has embraced Cobra Kai. Uh, Miguel, his family, and his relationship to Johnny are some of our favorite elements of the show. Hmm. That is... Uh, that, I, I love that. I, I love that there are so many... Um, Fans from Central and South America, Brazil. Oh yeah, this show is insane in Brazil. It's it's huge. I mean, when when we uh, booked the interview with Sholo, that's where we picked up a lot of new subscribers and followers on social media. Um, was Central America? Yes, which does make sense because Miguel is you know from Ecuador and yeah. Sholo's family is um, Ecuadorian, I believe. Um, at least part, I think, I right. think he's, uh, yeah. Right. Mixed. Um, so I, I just, I, I, I love seeing, you know, all of this just groundswell, um, you go tag diving and there are, you know, when I was doing that a year ago, um, every post in the tag was in English, you know, and you go in there now and it's in Portuguese, it's in uh, yeah. Russian, it's Tur- in Turkish. Chinese, it's in, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's in, yeah. it's in Mexican, it's in Spanish, it's in you know German, French, it, it, all over the world, and I love it. Okay, so next question is from Jay at NASA Kane's fan. Uh, since season three is already filmed, the Netflix has picked up for season four. Is it possible that season five could be picked up based on how well season three does? Hmm. I really don't know, but I'd love that. I would very much love that. That would be amazing. Except you always have to have that little bit of doubt with Netflix, right? You know, right now we're going into it. We know we've got season three. We know we've got season four. But season four of Glow was being filmed. You know what also just canceled after one season? What? Always. The Hillary Swank show? What was that? What it was called? I know it started with an A. Away. Away. Okay, yeah, away. They got canceled. Wait, she's like on Mars. I didn't watch it. I don't know. Um, one of our one of our uh, uh, group members, Nicholas, he actually shared it in another group that him and I are in, and I was a little surprised that he didn't share it in Cobra Kai. Also, well, because it's not Cobra Kai related, but I don't I don't know if he was following. You know when. Uh, Cobra Kai and Away were both like one and two, um, and m- maybe he just you know didn't put two and two together. But I was a little surprised that nobody shared it too, and I didn't just because I don't know I was probably working or something and didn't have the time and forgot. But, but yeah, it, um, like they made such a big deal out of it doing so well. I didn't read the article; I just saw the headline. But maybe somebody uh, in our group that's you know tuning in maybe do a quick Google's. Look for the article and share it, and we'll all read that afterwards. Amy said they were half done with season three of I'm Sorry, and they canceled that. Um, (laughs) Did they say, I'm sorry? (laughs) Teenage Bounty Hunters was huge, it seemed to me anyway, and it's um, gone. Oh, gosh. There there was a – there's Suzanne something from – 
from season three. She, uh, I think she was in it. So, yeah, somebody that follows me. I've so, seen some of those, those I want to remain positive and I want to, you know, because we're grateful to Netflix because they did save us from getting canceled in the middle of a cliffhanger. Fuck you, YouTube. Um, I did not just say that. Um, so, I want to be I mean, because we are literally live streaming on YouTube. Right. Um, I want to be grateful and I want to be thankful and I want to, you know, sing all the praises of Netflix for saving our show for us. But because it is Netflix, there's always this little kernel of doubt in the back of my head. You know, are they going to dark angel us? Because a lot they of do good that shows, so many times. A lot of good shows get canceled. A lot of good shows. But Cobra Kai is a step up from that, if not more. Well, you yeah. Know, we, I mean, it's set just... numbers that, that they've never seen before. It's blowing most of their original programming out of the water. Made into the top ten. Definitely blew every other of, acquired property they've ever of had. Being in the top ten, just completely you know? out of the water. It so is... it's yeah, they, that's a it, that's a different animal. Those other shows, like I don't know if they're breaking those type of records, you know, um, surprising people or surprising the world rather, you know. Uh, nobody heard of Away. It's called Away. Like, what, what is that? You know, like you have to have known about the show to know what that is but you right. see something like cobra kai like okay i remember seeing that in the top 10 and people are always talking about whoopi goldberg talked about it on the view you know like who's talking about away yeah and amy points out that ck filming in atlanta is a big pro uh if glow was filmed in atlanta or new york they might have gotten to finish glow was filmed in la so huh. that is a whole lot of extra expense in a normal season, and L.A. is not open for business at the moment right? as far that's, as filming goes. Vancouver is open again. Atlanta is open on a limited basis. See, so, and another thing with Glow, like, I know uh, it was, uh, I watched, I watched the, I don't remember, remember if I finished the first season, but I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot, but same kind of thing, you know, like. Mark Maron was uh, was amazing, but nobody's really talking about it like Cobra Kai. Like people want to be on Cobra Kai. People enjoyed watching Glow a lot. I I don't know um, if like everybody was saying like, oh, I, I want to be on Glow. Well, I bet you know if what they I mean? put like, if they put Mark Maron on Cobra Kai, I bet he'd get to finish saying fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not Ralph Macchio. It's a little bit different. Well, it's also um, kind of his trademark. It's kind of his thing. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure, sure. But but you have like celebrities who want to be characters' parents. You know, Kim Fields was was the very first one. You know, um, yeah. It's just it's it's a, Cobra Kai is such a different animal uh, compared to a lot of these other good shows that are being canceled. I I am scared too, you guys. But it's you know I I don't know if there's much that we could do to save it. No, you know, and there, there's really. a and there's a lot of shows that have been canceled and they have come back, you know. So, look, we're, it, I'm, it's not going to cancel anytime soon, in my opinion. Right. And J-Cat asking uh, what I meant by Dark Angel. Dark Angel was canceled in the middle of a literal cliffhanger. Um, and that's always been a huge, huge fear. Um and it was much the same situation as Glow, only not as extreme because season three had not started filming yet, but season three had been green lighted. They had been told they were renewed. Um, and if you give James Cameron license to do anything he wants with an episode of television, uh, he's going to make it freaking big because he's James Cameron, right? Um, so it's this huge, 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 massive cliffhanger, and they'd already started the writer's room for season three, and they found out that they got bumped for Firefly, which didn't even make it a full half season before it was uh, canceled as well. Firefly? I thought they only did the one season. Did, did they, they, get canceled they, didn't, they did not air the entire thing. Oh, I, I thought it was just, what, 13 episodes? There was supposed to be more than that? They No, they only aired, like, 10 of them. Oh, okay. If, huh. you, if you get the DVD... A Firefly, there are more episodes on the DVD than actually aired on I Fox. Actually, I have the DVD set that I borrowed from a co-worker over 10 years ago. Um, <laughs> <I've watched them. laughs> 
you, I, I would Serenity. <laughs> say at this point that it's no longer borrowed. You stole it. Well, I saw him like a few years ago, and he said, hold on to it until I watch it. What that tells me is he upgraded to Blu-ray. Ah, uh, yes, most likely. <laughs> yeah. All right, so moving on, since this is a QA and a that we're actually doing. Uh, Rick Auditori at in Rikers 05. Any chance of another All Valley under 18 and All Valley over 18? Anything is possible. Which, by the way, in reference to the All Valley over 18, uh, that kick that we talked about earlier, uh, John says that I look tournament ready. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. So you I got think some compliments he's considering on that. putting me on the uh, in the tournament over 18 here. There we go. It'll be the well over 18. Be up there <laughs> hey, with the boys. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm well, well over 18. And no, I there's no be. well over 18. It's just over 18, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm older than you anyway, so I can call you old if I want to. I'll take uh, I'll take Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Princess Izzy at Ralph Machiho. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> H-O-E. Garden Tool. Um, are there characters that were in season one that will be coming back for season three? I skipped a question. Uh, we'll go but, back. Yep, yeah, answer but, this one. Yes, our general policy is that any character who has appeared in the past has the potential to appear uh, to appear again. But uh, but he did say yes. So yes, uh, it's the same basic answer that he gives every time. Well, the second part is, but he's actually answering her. Yes, that there are characters returning from season one. So uh, usually when somebody asks, like, hey. Hang on, let me this. read this. What? Did he actually straight up answer her? Yeah, I just are told you. characters that were in season one that will be coming uh -huh. back? Our general policy. Three, yeah. Yes. Uh, did, do you think he meant to do that? Or do you think he misread that? They are deliberate in everything that they say. Okay. They're that's pretty a, careful. That's of a, all... Oh, well, well you know what, though? Daniel was in season one. Johnny was in season one. Miguel was in season uh, one. No, I think he's actually answering this one. But also, I think this is Cobra Kai News number 18 that's going to appear on the audio podcast there. I feel of all of those Q&As that we have covered, I feel like he's only, like, misspelled or mistyped, like, twice. Like John's pretty good at what he says. Well, he just did and, one a couple of answers ago. Right. That was one, yeah. And I feel like he's only done that one or maybe two other times of all the Q&As that we've covered. The man is pretty proficient with his spelling on his phone. I'm impressed. Yeah. I, I am, my, my phone can't spell this well. Yeah, I, I feel that John is actually answering. Yes, there's going to be characters from season one that, that return. But, but, I mean, I get what you're saying. And and you could be right, but I I think that he's actually answering her question. Okay, I was I was just thinking that he read it like you know the ten thousand other times he's been asked um, when it's usually is the are there is there a chance kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, yeah no, there's I, always a chance. And um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but um, I would like to think that he's actually like giving us a little something there, which you know we we have our thoughts, and I feel I just. It would be kind of nice that he's actually answering the question um, because, I mean, it's we got t like two months until it comes out. So That's true. Um, but Machi Ho, I love it. Yeah, Amy just said that she's never noticed Izzy's um, handle before, and now it's her favorite one on Twitter. Oh, um, is this somebody you guys know? It, or, yeah, uh, she, she's with? around with Kira and okay. um, and Cloven and all of them uh, in that got same, it. the, the, um, the La Russo circle. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, next question from Ontario Accountant at Matt Gregory Cox. Is there going to be any more trailers for Season 3 before it debuts? When can we expect Season 4 to be shown? There will definitely be a full Season 3 trailer before it airs. Don't know when Season 4 will premiere. We're just focused on writing it for now. Yep. Uh, which we knew that for Season 4 is in training. Um, I wonder... I wonder if Netflix will do what YouTube did when season two released or was coming out where they released what two, three, two clips, two clips um, before it aired. So, oh no, 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 we had three. We had three, three. we had three 
Daniel um, and Johnny outside the convenience store. That then was we had, no, we had three the on YouTube. We had four others, so we had seven all total. Really? Uh, we had on YouTube. We had the "What kind of cobra would you rather be?" Right. And OG makes an appearance, which was the Mr. Miyagi. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, I can't remember the title of it, but it was Johnny Increase in the Diner. Then oh, right. Yeah, at yeah, yeah. the oh, conventions, wow. we had the double date. The you had the double date. Yep, we had the double date at C two E two. They had the concrete truck, the cement truck at um, SXSW, um, and then at WonderCon they had a different one. I can't remember which one it was. Is it Tori's introduction, maybe? And then Daniel and Daniel running into Johnny and Chris was um, on the 35th anniversary release at the theater. So we had seven. But I might be wrong about which one played at WonderCon. Yeah, uh, obviously there's no cons going on. Um, but I am curious. Will we get some of those clips again? And I, I don't know if that's a Netflix thing, to be honest with you. So we might just get the, tr the one trailer. They they do seem to, at least I get notifications for, you know, little clips and stuff like that. But that seems to be after the season has released. Right, right, right. Like they'll chop it up afterwards, but not before. I I think somebody who's doing some of those stuff is like stealing some of our, uh, stealing some of our ideas. Uh, entirely possible, yes. Like the Sholo one? Come on. Like, we had Sholo on, and we talked about the crane kick, and then they released the video of uh, Ralph showing Sholo how to do a crane kick. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, like the next day. <laughs> you guys just rub elbows with us and include us. We're cheap, okay? Um, and I didn't write half of the um, <clears throat> Easter eggs oh, video Easter either. Eggs. Not at all. Right, yeah. Had nothing Those to do were with totally that. not from you. Yeah. Nope, not, nope. <laughs> <laughs> not, not mine at all. Um, okay, so Andrew Patterson, AC Patterson 975. Without spoiling anything, what should we expect from Robbie's character for season three? Uh, he's on the show, and he has shorter hair. Anything beyond what you've seen in the tease is a spoiler in my eyes. That is true. Yeah, he's on the show, and he's wearing a white jumpsuit, and he has short hair. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next is Happy Harry Hash Brown. I love Harry. Uh, does fan reaction theories and other types of fan content factor into your thinking about what to write for future seasons? We'll occasionally play with fans in tiny moments. Wait. We'll occasionally play with fans in tiny moments in fun ways, but nothing that has an actual impact on the story we're telling. Dang it. So like all those drops of Instagram, you don't think they're going to use that? Um, they, well, what he's saying is they do give us fan service. They, they, they will uh. occasionally give the little tiny nods, uh, because they know that we're looking for them. Uh, the that's, that's going to be the theories. Easter eggs, you know, I, I, I think what, what Harry's asking here is, you know, the question that we've heard asked before is, Hey, if, you know, if I don't like what you wrote and I tell you what I think you should write, will you listen to me? And this is her wits politely saying, no, fuck off. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I get that too. But I, I wonder if there's any um, maybe subcontext where it's also kind of like, oh, like, you know, um, things that we talk about and you guys see that and you like that, would you include that too? Maybe that's just wishful hoping on my part. Yeah, yeah, no, he's saying that he's saying that they will acknowledge us. Yeah. But they're not going to take anything that we say and make it part of the story. Right. Unless it already was, which that's entirely possible because there's only so many plots under the sun. Yeah. And you, you guys remember that now? Instagram. Okay. You have make been. Them up. We don't know. Yeah. You have been pitching that for, you know, a year. So keep going. Okay. Instagram. Um, it it's might. funny. It's free. <laughs> Next, Borealis at Borealis KRS. In the chronology of the series, how much time has passed from the first episode of the first season to the final episode of the second season? Uh, I'm waiting for it to scroll. It's still at the top. 
Yes. What I'm saying, I didn't scroll it all the way down. It's still at the top. The answer? Yeah. It's okay, right there we go. Top. It's scrolling. The first two seasons cover roughly one calendar year, a school year and a summer. Mm -hmm. Right? Season two, cruel yeah, summer. We knew that. It's a year and a day. Uh, because, well... I it, love it, that season two trailer. Maybe a little bit more depending on, you know, how far in advance um, of school the thing with Miguel and uh, Kyler at the Mini Mart actually is. Um, but yeah, Daniel turned 49 halfway through season one and the poor boy is still 49. Uh -huh. Two seasons later. <laughs> Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> That's why I'm like, just, just let Daniel turn fifty, okay? Just let Daniel yeah. turn fifty. Um oh who's this bitch? Uh Brianna Davidson. I've been meaning to ask this forever and keep forgetting. The two legged kick. We see Tanner's face both going into and coming out of the handstand. I'm guessing we see a stunt man from the back doing it, but can Tanner actually do it himself, or is it really him we see? Uh, I'd have to look at the footage, and it's hard to stream on this airplane. It's rare that we need to use uh, Tanner Stuntman's footage because he can do pretty much anything. That said, we used wires for that moment, so it's most likely him. That made me feel so good because I have thought from like the second time I watched that scene, I was like, "That is him." There, that's I, I've him. always thought it was him too. Like I, you know, I, I, I didn't think wires. Honestly, I didn't think like how did he perform it but i was like oh i think that's tanner you know but i never thought like oh he can do that i just figured it was some movie magic obviously right i i, I knew it was his face going into the handstand i knew it was his face coming out of the handstand my only thought was that it was potentially the stuntman from behind actually executing it because a stuntman would be able to kick sholo in the chest without kicking sholo in the chest um but I guess Tanner can do it too. Yeah. So pretty cool. Uh, next question is oh nope we're gonna skip that one. Okay. Um, because that's about unsolicited submissions for writing. Um, Be Water Creative at Let's Be Water. Uh, hey, John, first-time caller. Has there been any promotional photography shot yet for Season 3? And if so, do you know when it might start to appear? I've come to anticipate that as much as the show itself. Give him a follow, too, you guys. Instagram and Twitter. Yes, Be Water Amazing Creative. Work. You guys have seen his work. He did the original black and white Cobra Kai Karate Kid mashup poster. And his work is amazing. He recently did the Miyagi and Kree's uh, puppets, yes, with, or, the, puppet uh, or um, the puppet masters uh, doing the Johnny and Daniel, and then and then today, at the time of this recording, he um, added some motion to it. You know, so there's some movement. It's actually uh, pretty pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the answer to this uh, tweet is. Where is it? Ah, this is purely a guess, but I'd imagine you'll mostly start seeing stuff in December. Yes. Yes, <laughs> um, and I, I, I love, I love B Water. He is my friend. Um, I have been dropping hints, not so subtly, about wanting those stinking cast photos uh, since January. So now he has straight up asked for them. So <laughs> yeah, because um, I can't do any. I, I, I try so hard working from screen caps, and I just can't do it. Um, and I have completely exhausted what is possible to do um, with the cast photos that we have. So, yeah. Uh, next question is the bitch again. Since we know <laughs> Johnny ends up in jail at some point, it's not a spoiler if we've already seen it in the teaser, I swear. Can we assume there will be another scene involving someone bailing him out again, like Sid did in Ace Degenerate? Uh, if you if that if if you are that, what am I? Am I the a hole? No, you're Pete. You're the fucking legend. Uh, I mean, I'd be okay with being an a hole. Um, you can assume whatever you want, Brianna. That's part of the fun. Okay, so I'm throwing your name in there. Right? 
All right, so from this moment on, everyone, we are assuming that Daniel bails Johnny out of jail because that's what I want to assume. Yeah. And he assume said, whatever I can assume you want. whatever I want. <laughs> Smiley face. This guy. <laughs> Who does he think he is? <laughs> also, notice, please, that he did not correct me that Johnny is in jail. You know why? Because Johnny is in jail. Yeah, I mean. Just saying. I, I feel like one in ten people think that he's like visiting somebody <laughs> while standing at the bars. I don't know. And, and those people have, have never been in a jail or um, put any thought into anything, really. Um, next question is Danny Margulies uh, at Omaha Copywriter. John, I remember you once mentioned you originally wanted each CK episode to end with a different song each week, like The Sopranos did. But alas, that didn't work for YouTube. Any other interesting areas where The Sopranos inspired your vision for CK? We love the occasional moments where we lean into Daniel's Italian heritage. Louis sometimes uh, feels like he could have been on that show. Louis would be the completely screwy, the, the, the completely screw up soldier that worked for Chris, I think. I work with the Louis. We call him Screwy Louis just because it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's where you, I thought you were about to say that, like Screwy. No, I was going to say, if, if <laughs> Louis had a place on The Sopranos, that's where he would be. He would be one of the screw ups on Christopher Moltisanti's crew. Bless you. He would not work directly for Tony. I never saw Tony the show. Tony wouldn't put up, what? Yeah, I, I, I never saw the show. What? I never saw the show. You need to check your volume. No, I, I just I, the I, 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 you having a stroke, Brianna? <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Well, maybe we just move it along. You've never seen The Sopranos? Nope. I've never seen The Wire either. Okay? And you so. run a TV viewing podcast? No. TV at My Brain is a community podcast for any host to cover a TV show. That is not mine. Oh, you're talking about Cobra Kai. Wait, what? No, I was talking about TV ate My Brain and yeah, Pod Nostalgic. Right. Which Pod Nostalgic is, the... is strictly movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you would definitely have to watch The Sopranos. It is one of the best television shows ever freaking yeah, I, made. I promised, I promised people that I would watch The Wire first before, like, a lot of things. All right. Well, next question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just move on. Move on, because uh, yeah. Peter doesn't want to bask in his mediocrity. Uh, next question. Amy Suzanne at Sabrina Obscura. We know her. Uh, any ideas or even wishes for any virtual premiere related stuff? I know that's not usually a thing in normal years, but with no cons, no paley, and no press tours that aren't on Zoom, are there any chances for a con like panel or Netflix promo thing to lead into the series? All of us would love nothing more than to celebrate the season three release together. The premieres and cons we attended with YouTube were so much fun. Uh, could only imagine how awesome a Netflix event would be but don't know what the future holds. I guess since it's never going to happen that we could probably leak, since it's never going to happen, um, that way back when in February, uh, actually before February, it was the end of 2019, um, you and I and Watch Party um, and the Cobra guys, and are you karate kidding me? We had all floated around the idea of doing this big, huge community premiere stream um, for the hours leading up to the release on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. I had <laughs> remember to think about that? This. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once upon a time, when the show was going to be released, we were going to watch it. Um, and it would have been really fun. Yeah, what we did do for season one was, oh, no, well, yeah, yeah, for season two, what we did was we had group members um, volunteer to host, like, a, like a live watch in the group um, for you, for each episode. Oh, I kicked it off cool. with the first one. Yeah. I wasn't part of that. You, yes, correct. That's weird. I was live tweeting, but I wasn't. 
I wasn't doing anything on the Facebook group. Yeah. Um, I wasn't super I know, active on the Facebook group yet then. Yeah, no, you weren't. Uh, I know me and manager Jeff kicked it off with the first episode, and I know Tom did one, and I think Kaz and Rick did one. Uh, Jen did one. So, yeah. I, I think we uh, eventually had all the episodes covered uh, before season two. And, oh, and I think I came back and did, like, episode seven with Matt Lewis, unless that was something different. I don't know. Um, I remember, I remember, like, watch parties, not watch party, as in the guy, but I, I, I seem to remember, like, hosting watch parties at various times through the year. Um, yeah. Mikey and Jeremy, Amy says Mikey and Jeremy did one and Jen did one. Oh, that's right. They did. Yeah. Mikey and Jeremy did do one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Might so have been the first time they went, uh, they, they showed their faces too. We are at two hours now. So. Oh, wow. Let's get it moving. Yeah. Well, the thing is he answered questions for two hours this day. Uh, I don't know how close we are to the end. So, um, Andre is from earth 8096. At Art Machine 321, just some clarification, is the Karate Kid 2010 part of a different universe, or does it also take place in the same world as the rest, but just in another part of the world? The 2010 Karate Kid takes place in a different universe. So I, I think we should probably start um, speeding it up, because I, I anticipate the kids calling like any minute now, too. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I mean, I guess the alternative is to let you kind of take over until I come back. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to be. Right. I think yesterday was like 40 minutes. Yeah, and it's already 11, you know, 11.15. So, Midnight um, for some. Yeah. It, it, when, the, you know, when, when we chop it off, we'll just at some point probably chop it off um, if we don't get to the end. And then yeah. maybe come back to it or maybe not. Um, okay, Omar7700 at Omar7705. Uh, will some episodes be longer than 30 minutes? Uh, I don't see the answer yet, but yes. <laughs> How can you not see the answer? I can see the answer. Oh, yes, several are longer than 30 minutes in season three with a few, uh, f with a few north of 35. Now, I'm remembering something north of 40. Uh, and and maybe there's like maybe one episode that's closer to forty, or maybe one that's over forty. But yeah, I think uh, they, I think they had said that one was. Yeah, because because uh, they also told me that IRL at Sony because uh, forty sticks in my head. Right. So uh, I and I don't remember. Well, that was in December. So Hayden had just come back from Okinawa, um, and so yeah, I guess they were still editing. So uh, at the time. Episodes were probably as long as what they told me, and then this is now after the fact, after post production. So maybe okay. that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, Crystal. We put Crystal to sleep, Peter. Um, oh, I know. I'm very boring. <laughs> okay. Next question. Sean Jacksfield at Sean Jacksfield. Do you already know where the characters will be at the end of Cobra Kai? Is the final shot already in your head? Absolutely love the show, by the way. The tone you've gone for is so tricky to pull off, but you've done it incredibly successfully. We know where many of the characters are going to end up and have some specific shots in our heads. Ah, uh, Rick just said in the chat that they said the first episode is 40 minutes long. Huh, okay. Uh, Christy says, can I go to bed yet? It's after midnight. She's too tired to write. Um, sure. Is that in the group or? In the chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're 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 putting our audience to sleep. No, I mean this is a live stream. I mean this is gonna the video is gonna be there. Yeah, and it'll also, still, it'll still it on be the back. Audio yeah. it'll, it'll yeah, be yeah, there yeah. in the morning. No, um, nobody is under any obligations to stay for the entire thing. Like we we just decided to do live for those that want and can tune in. Right. Yeah, I yeah. love you, Crystal. You go to bed. No. Feel free to leave You're after fine. five minutes. And I love no, you yeah. too, Christy. Oh no. Okay, Rick says no. He made that up. Okay. Stop that. <laughs> Damn it, Rick. <laughs> Damn it, Rick. Okay. Uh, next question. Jack Lewis at Jack L underscore 1996. Where did the idea for Aisha to end her rivalry with Yasmin with a wedgie rather than a fight scene come from? Though it's hard to keep track of who thinks of what in the writer's room, I'm almost certain this one was my idea. I feel this is the first time he's ever done that. Owned up to something? 
Yeah. Or taking credit for something? Taking credit, yeah. And it's the front wedgie, the infamous the Melvin. Wedgie. Now, wait, I thought we discussed this, and I feel like you told me Melvin was for a man. I'm pretty sure Melvin is for, yeah, Melvin is for a guy. Yeah. I don't know that it actually has a name for a girl, because it's generally not done, I don't think. Look at John thinking about a front right. wedgie for a, for a girl. Right. He's keeping it, you know, nice and, uh, in, nice and equal. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Patterson. Thank you, Andrew, for asking this question because legit got in an argument about this on Twitter a couple of weeks huh. ago. Is the photo that Johnny has of Robbie as a little kid on his fridge an actual picture of Tanner when he was young? Yes. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. That looks like Tanner Buchanan. There were, so. there were people on Twitter who were honestly saying that they should have found a kid that looked more like Tanner. For as that opposed picture. to his own photo. And it's like, that is Tanner. Yeah. Um, that looks like Tanner to me. And the reason why they didn't use, like, with Mary, well, they have a young actress playing a, a young Samantha, number one. Number two, to my knowledge, I don't think Mary Mauser has any previous karate experience, so she wouldn't have a photo of her, like, in a gi and stuff. Well, she wouldn't have a photo of her in a gi with Ralph Macchio, no matter what she did. That, too. <laughs> but... But that um, still could have been photoshopped, There but are still. actually, There are actually, if you want to get technical and you want to get picky, there are three people who have played young Samantha LaRusso. Mary Mouser in photos in the um, photo album. Oh, uh, yeah. Because there, there's... You know, photos of Mary in there. The little girl that I don't know her name, but the little girl that actually plays her in the dojo scenes with Daniel and is in the photo. And Julia Macchio is also Samantha LaRusso. Really? Sitting on Ralph's shoulders in a photo oh, in the photo album. I gotcha. Yeah, the um, I feel bad because I don't know the, the, the young actress's name either, but uh, her Instagram account follows me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's run by her parents, yeah. Uh, it, this was, like, after, like, the Netflix debut. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Amy says, why would why would, why would, would they waste time finding a rando pic of a rando kid if there were pictures of Tanner at that age right there? Which, yeah, his parents would have pictures of him playing soccer. Um, yeah? Yeah. And if he played baseball, then Robbie played baseball. If he wrestled, then Robbie wrestled. I mean, you know. But, yeah, people were actually arguing whether or not that was Tanner in that picture because that kid apparently looks nothing like Tanner. That's why I stay away from, like, Reddit and other things like that where there's these type of fights and arguments. It's like, I yeah, I don't need to turn gray that fast. Okay, we are skipping that one because I know that particular person's shtick and I'm tired of it. Um, let's see. If you had a, ca a cameo from LBZ17, goat from that time, that would be Larry B. Scott, uh, would that cause a break in the space-time continuum given he is in the original Cobra Kai but also an Iron Eagle? Uh... I would say yes, but Rob Garrison was also in Iron Eagle, so it's always possible Jerry can return. Yes. And, you know, they didn't show those particular scenes, so I think that's game. Right. They didn't show either of their scenes um, from Iron Eagle yet. Um, mm -hmm. Larry B. Scott's name is on the Iron Eagle poster that Johnny finds when he's searching the internet, but you have to zoom in so super far to see it. Um, and I honestly don't think it would even be readable, no matter how far you zoomed in, uh, because it's a picture of a photo on a screen through your TV. Um, but Larry, that I, I, Larry B. Scott's name is on the poster for Iron Eagle. So. Right. Like if like if Sam happened to be watching The Outsiders, I don't think they're going to show like Johnny Cade, you know? Right. Or the credits with Ralph Macchio's name on there. They're not going to they're not going right, to. Right. Right. Um, they're not going to take break a, the, four, you know, the third, fourth wall. Fourth wall. Fourth yeah. Fourth wall. Yeah. 
they're that not going to take a, an actual sledgehammer to it. They might knock a couple cracks in it, but they're not going to completely destroy the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevman17 at Kevin Welge. How many times did you have to light Johnny's car on fire before getting the take right? Uh, we only had one shot, and it was our last take of an extremely long day. We had just gotten back from Thanksgiving, and we dealt with mishap after mishap. One of our worst days of production. Hmm, interesting. Number one, I want to hear the stories about this horrible, horrible day, because I don't think we've heard any. We can probably talk to Brett Ernst about that. Number two, how many times do you think you can light a fiberglass car on fire? I mean, it's probably like the look, right? I mean, maybe the first or however many attempts, it just didn't look right or the look that they were going for. So they have to keep trying it. Uh, no, the answer is one. Oh. It melts. Oh, oh, right. You get one shot at setting a fiberglass car on fire. One. <laughs> okay. That's it. Oh, well, yeah, he says it in the damn answer. Yeah, I thought you were, okay, they had I one shot. You. They, they, they had one shot at that. Um, so, yeah. You're, you're, you, you, can't, you can't keep setting it on fire over and over again because it will not work. Yeah. Not with fiberglass. Um, all right. So, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And uh, Daniel Exenial at Liberty Sun 76. Please also release them on Blu-ray, preferably 4K, and not just DVD. Thank you, good sir. You do amazing work. Uh, if it were up to me, the show would be released on all mediums, including Betamax and Laserdisc. I love every time he mentions Betamax and, uh, Beta, Betamax and, and Laserdisc. Mm -hmm. um, video discs. Whenever I talk about video discs and flipping the video discs, and like nobody can remember this. Yeah. Even people that grew up in the eighties, it's I, I like I swear I'm the only person that remember and and not only do I remember flipping the discs, I remember where the flips were in the Karate Kid and the Empire Strikes Back, and you know movies that that we watched more than once. Um, Clash of the Titans, I remember where where you flipped there, um, and it's not something that I can like call to mind instantly. But when I'm watching the movie, especially The Empire Strikes Back, because where The Empire Strikes Back disc flipped was super obvious. It was a break between scenes, and it was with a transition. Um, so, like, I'm watching, and when that transition happens, my brain goes, flip the disc. Still, 30 years later. But mm -hmm. it's like I'm the only one who can remember doing this. Okay, so, I didn't want to interrupt you. Uh, I wanted to let you speak, but... I really need to use the restroom. So if you want to take the next couple questions or something while I make that run. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, you're right. All right. All right, so moving forward without Peter, it's a test run. Uh, we have a question by Lee at Art by Lee. On a scale of 1 to 10, how badass is Hawk going to be in Season 3? Uh, Herwitz responds, is it possible to be too badass? We may find out. Um, the answer is no, of course it's not possible to be too badass. Um, it is possible to be too big of a dick, which, you know, we've seen the Hawk having the ability to be quite a bit of a dick. So, um, let's see. Still had to flip some of the DVDs. Oh, that's true. That's true. I remember, I remember the two-sided DVDs, Christy. I do remember some of those. Um, the, the thing about the laser disc, the video discs, the technology was so neat because you would, it was like a, um, it was like a vinyl, right? It was like a big old 33 record inside this heavy plastic case. And the, the video disc player was, you know, flatter than a VCR, but same basic thing about technology. But you would put the whole plastic case in. And then it would spit back out just the case. Um, and it would keep the disc and it would spin and it would play the first half of the movie. And then you would have to put the case back in to get the, the disc back out. Then you'd have to take the whole thing back out, flip it over, and do the whole thing again. And it was such a neat thing for me when I was, you know, 11, 12 years old. Um, but no one else really remembers this. So... 
I don't know if this was something that was like a bigger thing in the Midwest than it was anywhere else. I'm back. Um, yeah, we're, we're talking about the, the DVDs again. I only answered one question. Still? Just, oh. well, the, the, the chat was talking about like two-sided uh, DVDs and things like that. So I forgot the chat's there. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so next question is Jake Fogelnest at Jake Fogelnest. If you use a re-recorded master of an 80s song because it's cheaper, I'm going to notice it within one second of hearing it. That's just me, though, and a small amount of lunatics. Who is Jake Fogelnest? I don't know. Writer, producer, professional. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh, I know you would, Jake. Cost occasionally comes into play, but we'll usually use a re-record because it works a little better for the scene or because the artist will only agree to the re-record. Okay, Amy obviously knows who Jake is. I was just thinking, I bet Amy's going to know who this guy is. Amy knows freaking everyone. Amy, who is yes, Jake Fogelnest? Remember Squirt TV on MTV? No, I do not. He's a writer, comedian, actor, etc. And Cat says he's a VJ. MTV BK guy. Guys, I haven't watched MTV since they actually played music on it. So, the Fogelnest Files doesn't happen anymore. It was a podcast and it was amazing. Oh, good night, Miguel. Okay, so I guess Thanks Jake, for tuning in. Jake Fogelnest is someone that I should know, but I don't because I don't watch MTV. Uh, next question on uh, is B Water again. On this topic, I have to ask, especially given there's another reference to the movie in the series, but this music had to be influenced, inspired by the Bloodsport score, right? Our friends Zach and Leo have plenty to say about this. Oh, I don't want to get it. I don't want to open it, but I have to no, open it. Let's just, yeah, yeah, I don't no, know what we'll song it is. We'll have it's, to go yeah. back. If you want to see, you'll have to go back and and, and see what song that is actually, because he says that uh, Zach and Leo had a lot to say about this one. So, um, okay. On an interview you did almost two months ago with Cobra Kai Kid on YouTube, I thought I remember you mentioning that you really did the season three shootings in Okinawa. Now in Karate Kid 2, it was in Hawaii, right? Not Hawaii for Cobra Kai. I'm still waiting for it to scroll. Why is it taking you so long? Um, Are you live? I am now. Oh, for uh, God's sake. <laughs> yes, in Karate Kid 2, they shot in Hawaii for Okinawa. For Cobra Kai, we brought Daniel Russo to actual Okinawa and also shot some Okinawa stuff in Atlanta. See, they're so blasé and casual now about mentioning that Ralph went to Okinawa. Remember how crazy excited I was and how much trouble Ralph almost got in for admitting that he went to Okinawa? Was this on our live stream? It was. Yeah. I mean, ish. Ish. I was so excited because I'd been wanting to ask for months and months and months. And then I finally worked up the guts to do it. And now everybody's just like, yeah, of course, of course Ralph went to Okinawa. Yeah. Well, wasn't there some reservation? And I feel like Josh Hield gave him the go ahead or something. Or oh no, John was John was like trying to shut him down, and Ralph was like, "We said that months ago. That's not a spoiler." Okay, yeah, I I want to rewatch that for sure. I don't because it makes me cringe. <laughs> I want to redo. I don't want to watch that one. Um, okay, we're gonna skip that one. Uh, Swag Daddy Steph at Estefan Guerrero uh, has Whoa, their that's a name Estefan why did I say Estefan Estefan Guerrero <laughs> uh, has there been an actor that you wanted to bring back from the OG Karate Kid trilogy that declined um, okay there we go uh, we wanted to bring back Chad McQueen during season 2 but it didn't work out perhaps one day yeah, and that's a safe one to say because we've already seen that season. <laughs> right, we've already seen that season. We already know that Chad McQueen was not in it. They've already been, you know, very upfront about the fact that they did ask him. 
and he had other things going on, and he just was not able to commit to it, so he did not. Um, but that the door is always open for him to come back whenever he wants. So mm -hmm. I think that would be awesome to see Dutch again. Um, let's see. Uh, John Limbo at John Limbo 1878. What's the writing process like? Does a writer bring an idea to the table and the whole team works on it? Uh, before each season, Hayden, Josh, and I uh, plan the broad strokes, lots of character and story arcs, scenes, moments, etc. When the writer rooms, the writer's room starts, we share our ideas with everyone. They react and pitch their own thoughts. They outline each episode. Then we outline each episode together. So kind of what we said at the top of the show. Right, and this is what they just wrapped up on season four uh, yep. today. Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday. Oh, and here we go. About to land. Have to put my computer away. Uh, thanks for the great questions. And don't forget to binge Cobra Kai series again after football. Does John watch football? I, I know Hayden talks about the Browns all the time. Um, huh. I don't know if... Well, it was probably a Sunday, you know, and that's why he said that. Well, October 11th was definitely Sunday. Um, uh, yep. Yes, it was. So Ah, that was my four-day weekend? No, three-day weekend. Yeah, because I had, no, Sunday, Monday, because Monday was The 12th was uh, Memorial Day, or the 12th Day. was Veterans Day. Columbus Day. No, 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 Indigenous People yes, Day. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then 13th, I had off, and yeah, so I had a really nice week that, that week. Um, what the crap? So yeah, now all of a sudden it's the middle of November in my brain? I swear, because well, I just said Veterans Day. That's the first well, one or second, Monday in November. I mean, um, the, the Q&A here was on October 11th, so you just keep seeing 11th. That's probably why. That might be. I, either that yeah. or I just, I'm too old to exist. It's late. You know, we're a little rusty. <laughs> that that we are. We um, I, I've actually been feeling guilty because we haven't been able to get on, you know, for a while there, it was like we were on every other day. Um, yeah. And now it's been... Life happens. You've been pretty wrapped up at work, as as have I, you know. Yeah, so. work, has been, work has been kicking my butt. I, I am not afraid to admit that in the slightest. Yeah, um, and, and here I am about to go on a five-week break here, you know, so we'll, we'll see what that's like. Yeah, we got to strategize and planonize and all that stuff. Um it's going to be fun. I mean, I know for sure that I can try to uh, record intros for all the old interviews to put up on the YouTube mm -hmm. uh, channel. So that's no problem. Uh, but in terms of the audio podcast, I could think of at least two episodes that I can still rip off of the um, YouTube, including Aiden and Khalil's uh, live stream and also the season one finale of the All Valley Trivia Championship. So there's two episodes right there. Right. Um, we just got to come up with some other stuff, maybe. Or or you and I and Amy, we can probably get together and talk about um, maybe come up with some of, the, or some of our favorite episodes. And you and I record new intros forward, say, hey, you know, we're just going to bump this old episode up. If you've heard it, check it out again. If you're new, you might have missed it. Here you go. We do still need to uh, do the recap for uh, season three, or season three. Yeah, I want to do the recap for season three. Get on it. I just want um, to watch it first. Right, yeah, we need to do the recap for season two still because yeah. we have not done that yet. Right. Um, it's going to be tough. We'll see. Running out of time. And let's see. I can't give away too much. I can say uh, we're, we're, we're all the way up to the uh, what else are you doing part now. Um <laughs> We just completely yeah, yeah, yeah. skipped over the fact that, you know, announcing that we're wrapping it up and started wrapping it up. We um, are, yes. I cannot give too many details. I can tell you that I am going to be part of a project with another YouTuber coming up very shortly that I am super excited about. Very nice. Um, and I will let you all know as soon as I am told that I can, because it's going to be awesome. Um, and then, I don't know, I need to throw down a challenge for watch party for another debate. All right, you guys can do that other. offline. 
Well, no, because if we do it offline, that's boring. We have to do it online, but, you know. No, no, no. I'm saying you guys can talk about that offline. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just throwing down the challenge right now. I'm, like, smacking him is in the face with my in? virtual gloves. I don't know. If he is, <laughs> then watch party. Consider yourself challenged. There we go. Uh, I got nothing else. I think we've talked about it all. I've kind of teased it throughout this episode. So that's all I got. Brianna, where can people find you if they don't already follow you? Uh, Brianna25 on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. I almost said LinkedIn. What the crap? You're probably on LinkedIn too. <laughs> no. Um, Twitter, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Archive of Our Own, Fanfiction.net. Links are in the description. Uh, I see Rick here wants to challenge me to talk about uh, Bill and Ted. I don't think there's a debate to be had. I just I was underwhelmed, and that's all it was. So, yeah, um, yeah, you loved Watch it. Part. That's great. A lot of people loved it. But yeah. um, ah, Christy was still here. Yeah, yep. Good night, <laughs> okay. all. A rather good morning. Uh, Watch party is still here. Um, he's a little confused as to what I just challenged him to, but that's okay because so much. He probably just woke up too. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I woke up to me smacking him in the face with my virtual glove. Oh, man, that was I agree with Amy. I miss uh, Crispy Kareem too. Where's he been? Oh, man. Oh. Anyway, okay. Uh, for me, you guys can find me on Twitter at Cobra Kai Pod uh, and Podcast on Instagram. Uh, that's where you can find me mostly on those two platforms and obviously in the group. So, um, again, thanks for like a lot of the new members, the new followers that have been engaging. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so that's going to do it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, uh, especially the ones that are staying up extremely late just to hear us live. I really, We really appreciate that. So, uh, you know, follow us and you'll find out when we plan to do uh, something else again soon. And, again, we have some more ideas for this, uh, this next few days here before I take my leave of absence. So thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye, guys.